No more pencils No more books No more teachers to deluxe School's out for summer School's out till fall Hello! Ooh! Sorry, that was a that was a long, uh, cl cloudy intro. Hello, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to our D and D charity stream marathon, uh, raising money for Save the Children. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, we are so excited to thank you for everybody who's here already, uh, who's joined in early and was able to join and is able to join us for our stream tonight. It's been a while since I've done one of these intros, so I might be a little, a little rusty. I've been, I've been away for a couple of weeks, so uh, now I'm back uh, in in armor. We have some uh, amazing uh, folks here who you may may be meeting for the first time on the Magi RPG stream. You may also be familiar with them through other places on the internet. Uh, everybody looks awesome. Thank you everybody for dressing up for this. Uh, for the kids, of course. Uh, so I'm gonna go through some uh, general housekeeping things and then I will have everybody have a moment to introduce themselves before we dive into the session tonight. We're actually gonna be doing two one shots. So we're gonna start this one and then we're gonna follow with another one. So. Hopefully some of you might be here for the long haul if you're gonna stay for both games. Um, we have a lot of really cool incentives uh, and we have a goal that we're trying to hit. Right now, we're looking to hit uh, $1,000 for Save the Children. Uh, and we're doing this actually because uh, Save the Children has actually done a summer long campaign called Make Summer Fair. You might have just seen the video that we ran for it, uh, but it's also kind of leading into like the back to school season. I know right now, usually around this time, a lot of kids are going back to school uh, and we're, we kind of time this around uh, an event in September called World Literacy Day. Um, and so we're going to be raising money for Save the Children to help them with this campaign. Uh, and we really hope that you can support us and support Save the Children. Uh, we have some different incentives and you can see them on the screen here. Uh, so if you donate $50, you can give one of the players inspiration. $75, you can give player, I should say player or DM. If you're feeling cheeky, you could also give this to the DM, but I don't recommend it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you can give either the DM or one of the players inspiration for $50, nat 20 for 75, a hundred dollars, uh, we can get an, a magic item, an uncommon magic item, so we can't exactly uh, give somebody like a Vorpal sword or something. Uh, 150, uh, you can give a death ward to a player, which is really useful. And then 200 dollars, this is a new one and kind of cool, and I'm I'm curious if somebody donates this much to see how this goes. But give a player a plus two to any ability to score. And I believe the player can choose. So if you donate for any of these, actually, if you do donate um, and you can leave a message either in chat or in the donation, if you want to let us know which player you would give this to. Uh, I know a lot of times people people are like, oh, just give it to whoever. But if you can call out who you want to give it to, that makes it kind of move a lot faster for us because then we have to like decide who we want to give it to. So wh whomever you feel uh, you want to give, one of these incentives to, uh, just make sure you call it out in chat or via donation. Um, we also have some milestones that we are looking to hit. So if we hit 1K, we do have a Halloween party that we're gonna be doing on stream. So that's our, our big goal, but we have a couple of other goals in between uh, up to that. And then also even some stretch goals. So uh, George, I don't know if you have the, uh, thank you. Thank you yep. very much. Uh, the The milestones are all written out here. Uh, so if we hit two hundred fifty dollars, we are going to do a Warhammer uh, Wrath and Glory one shot. So that'll be really cool. Um, if we do five, if we get five hundred dollars, we're going to do a mini painting stream where I'm going to paint 
miniatures, not my cat Minnie. I have a cat named Minnie. Uh, we're not painting Minnie. Uh, maybe we will. I don't know. We're going to do a mini painting stream. Um, if we get to six 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 dollars, uh, Strahd will appear uh, in the game. Uh, and this is actually a tradition we've been doing for all of our charity streams, so we want to keep the tradition going. Yeah, you know, just you know, Strahd might just show up uh, if we hit if we hit that goal. Uh, wow. One thousand dollars, our Halloween stream, and then we have a couple of other stretch goals. Uh, if we can get over a thousand dollars, that'd be amazing. Uh, we'll do a Cyberpunk Red sh one shot. $2,000, we're going to get uh, Hannah, who you may know from our Icewind Dale or Blaze in the Dark, uh, and also artist who's done a lot of art for our <laughs> games. Uh, she's going to DM a game. So if you wanted to see Hannah be a DM, help us get to 2000 And then $3,000, uh, we will do a, a Witcher miniseries because everybody loved the last Witcher wi one shot that I ran. So that'll incentivize me to run another one. Um, so yes, that is all of our milestones. Basically, more Magi RPG content helping children. It's a win-win. Uh, we hope that you can support us. So I think that is everything for all the housekeeping stuff. Um, also, we're Magi RPG for anybody who's new. Hi, we do a lot of D&D stuff. Uh, not D&D, &D, not just D&D. &D. We do D&D, &D, Blaze in the Dark. Uh, we do Vampire the Masquerade, Cyberpunk Red. Uh, we play a lot of games on this channel. So thanks, thanks for joining us. I would like to introduce our players now. Um, so players, we're going to go down the line here and we'll start with you, Adam, and then go down the line. Uh, introduce you, the person, who you are on the internet, and then tell us who you're playing for this lovely one shot. So Adam, let's start with you. Sure. If you can hear me through my beard. Uh, I'm Adam uh, or Arcane Adam. Uh, you can find me mostly doing D and D streams. Uh, I do some here on Magic RPG, so you might be familiar there, or over on uh, Captain Robert's uh, channel, and then various other things as well. Uh, and today I am playing uh, Kittrich. Kittrich is a gnome wizard, and I've been around for quite a bit of time. <laughs> um, and then uh, me, I guess if we're going down the line high, I'm playing Loza. Uh, a Asimar Paladin who, if you've watched some Magi RPG stuff in the past, uh, from our Descent into Avernus game, uh, Loza is a, a Paladin of Sune, Goddess of Love. So I am excited to return to playing Loza, including donning my LARP armor for this special occasion. <laughs> uh, next up, B. No. One moment. Maybe mute. There's like 50 oh. areas for me to be like, do I unmute? No, here? Yeah. Here? What is yeah. over here? <laughs> yes. Uh, so with that uh, tension, hello, uh, my name is B Zelda. My pronouns are they, them. Uh, I'm on the internet as B Zelda underscore on like every social media platform. Um, but I am super excited to be here today because I am playing S.H.I.E.L.D. And um, he's a tiefling fighter with just an impeccable mustache who aspires to that beard because the magnificence of it all. Mm, it's <laughs> magnifique. It is a great beard, honestly. <laughs> Thank you. I've worked hard on this. Yeah, many years. Great mustache, great beard. Uh, <laughs> what about you? Hi, I'm Emmeland. I stream, cosplay, model, and play Toridor in Vampire the Masquerade, among many elves in D&D. Uh, &D. I am neck deep in Baldur's Gate 3 right now on Twitch and YouTube. It's like taking over my whole life in the best way possible. But today, today I'm playing Adelaide Seymour, and she is a fey packed warlock. Ooh, I we do love a good Fey warlock. Um, we have a lot of Fey in some of our other games, so I'm I'm curious to see how it'll go for our our Candlekeep game. Uh, and then last but not least, Zach. Hello, everyone. I'm Zach Clay. I am also a streamer. I'm a voice actor. Um, in life, I am a professional dungeon master. So the city of San Francisco hires me to run their kids and teens D and D programs. Uh, in the San Francisco library. So this is right up my alley for Save the Children. And I will be playing Ravarex, the Silver Dragonborn. That's great. Good voice. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 
Okay, so these are our amazing players. Um, thank you, everybody, uh, for joining us for this one shot. I'm excited to have some new faces on MedGRPG. Um, and then, George, why don't you introduce yourself as well? Hi, hello. Thank you. Uh, by the way, we've already hit 300 donations. Oh, uh, shit. Is that right? Oh, oh my God. Yes, we oh, did. Man. Oh, my gosh. Uh, great oh. Archon. Um, great Archon wow. donated $200. Plus two, so that's the plus two ability score increase to Adam for that epic beard. Amazing. Oh. Oh. Thank you, young man. That was very kind. <laughs> Starting off strong. And he then Norlem. beard was giving him some trouble. <laughs> or no, Norlem, the wizard, uh, $100. Oh my gosh. Magic item for M. Uh, so mm -hmm. we already, we already awesome. got some, some, good, some good shit to start. Thank you. Okay. So how does the... Magic item uh, work. Uh, I will pick one. Give me one moment. Um, cool. blah, 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 blah. While I'm doing that, uh, by the way, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm <laughs> Glorious George. I'll be your DM today uh, for both this game and the game after this. Uh, really excited. Uh, you can catch me on this channel all the time, DMing uh, games such as, give me one moment, a uh, few things to show off real quick. Derp, 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 derp. Uh, ah. we, uh, <laughs> we have a whole bunch of games. So right after this, of course, will be Candlekeep Revolt uh, that we'll be playing after this. That is a different Candlekeep one shot. Really excited for that one. Um, and normally on this channel, you can find uh, things like Rise of the Conduit, which we have on Tuesdays. Uh, it's our Blades in the Dark campaign. Uh, I run a few different campaigns. Uh, I run uh, Grim Domains, which is our uh, Ravenloft sort of horror campaign setting. Uh, we run that every Friday. Uh, that's been going on for five seasons now. And uh, we also have a show right now going called Cold Blooded, uh, which is on Sundays. That is a evil align Icewind Dale, Rime of the Frost Maiden campaign. Um, so it goes very differently than, uh, you know, your normal uh, Icewind Dale campaign does. Uh, and it's been very tricky to uh, keep pace with it, but I've been loving it. So uh, and then the last thing is uh, we also run another show on here called Tales of Thunder. That's usually on Mondays. Uh, that's a Storm King's Thunder uh, inspired campaign that just finished its first season. Uh, but I'm happy to announce that a new season uh, will be coming out October 16th. Uh, so really excited for that. Uh, we'll have more information as that comes. Uh, no one's actually seen this character before. So, uh, yeah, I get to show it off. All right. Um, but yeah, that's uh me. We just got another $200 donation. Dr. Oh Penguin. Uh, thank you, Dr. Penguin. Oh um, thank you so much. You give a player uh, an ability score. So let us know in chat who you would like to give that ability score plus two to. Uh, we've already hit $500, which means we're definitely doing Warhammer Wrath and Glory, and we're going to do a mini painting Ooh. stream. So yeah. hell yeah, let's go. Wait, that means we're very close to Strahd. We are very close mm. to Strahd. Only 160 we even started. Can you imagine we begin and Strahd's just there? Yeah. The yeah. The yeah. Uh, <laughs> if we get the donation, uh, it, as soon as it is appropriate, they will arrive. At a uh, dramatically yeah. appropriate moment, as Jason Crowell says. George's first words are <laughs> Strahd. We're like, what? Yeah. I guess we're doing Ravenlaw. We're doing <laughs> Ravenlaw. <laughs> Just throw out the whole... So, by the way, today, uh, the campaign we're running uh, is actually a really good one. Uh, it is uh, written by... One moment. Uh, it is written by Mark, uh, Mark Humes. Uh, you might know him on Twitter as Sherlock Humes. Uh, and he... Uh, uh, or Holmes, uh, Humes? I think it's Humes. Humes? Humes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, but it's, it's an amazing, uh, module. Uh, it's a part of, um, Candlekeep Candle Mysteries. Mysteries. Uh, yeah, I've been prepping for it for the last two weeks. Uh, and the more and more I've dug, dug into it, the more I've been excited about it. So, uh, if, uh, yeah, if you like it, good news. I'm probably gonna try to find a way to play this again real soon in one of our other campaigns. I can't say anything more than that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I think that's everything. I'm going to find this magic item. Uh, but before <laughs> that, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. We need some appropriate music here. Okay. It is another day in the majestic the majestic, wonderful place known as Candlekeep. Candlekeep 
one of the largest libraries in the Sword Coast, a magical library that stores thousands upon thousands of priceless tomes, uh, protected from fire with magic, with special wards to keep the knowledge here safe. One of the cool things about Candlekeep is in order to gain entrance into it, you need to bring a book that the candle that the keep currently does not have in its inventory. So, uh, as such, with such an entry uh, requirement, they have quite a lot of tomes. Some of you aren't just visiting there, but you are actually working there. The insides of Candlekeep are very busy uh, as we delve inside. Uh, once you get past the Emerald Gate, there are just stacks and stacks and walls and hallways filled with books and tomes and scrolls. And many of these books are magical. And as such, magical books can be dangerous. They also can be quite valuable to people, which is why the books are all kept safely in this magical keep. Um, some of you guys are librarians there. I believe that includes uh, uh, Adelis, right? Uh, Adelis and... Uh, sorry, names are failing me as I'm trying to read your... Uh, I'm trying to read your name cards from our screen. Okay. Um, Ravarox, right? Mm -hmm. Ravarox, you are as well a librarian. Uh, and uh, Kittrich, you are a librarian there as well. Now... Uh, you guys have been all very busy. Things have been uh, really busy today in particular because there's lots of noise going on. It sounds like something's going down. Uh, the elders who sort of, uh, the avowed who are the leaders of Candlekeep, they have been very busy running around. It, it seems like there's some kind of trouble or something like that, but because they've been busy, all of the normal work that is usually given to like acolytes and other people has fallen on you guys. So you are busy trying to take care of things. Uh, it's honestly a very stressful day. You guys are right now in the middle of the stacks um, exploring and give me one moment. Here we go. Um, right now, uh, Kittrich, do you have anything you talk to Ravarax about? Anything that's on your mind as you are busy, you know, trying to get things filed, get things organized, things like that? Uh, yeah, I think he's just kind of rambling to himself and, and working very, very slowly. Like there is not speed to Kittrich. Kittrich is very old and, uh, and he makes sure everybody knows how old and delicate he is. Uh, and I think I think he's just probably complaining. You, you know, you you'd think uh, the seventy five plus years of tenure would just uh, award me a little bit of time, a little a little re relaxation. And uh, we see that Ravarax, although he's a dragonborn, is also rather aged. It's a bit harder to tell, but his scales sort of turn white at the ends. And he uh, comments back and says. Yes, I'm not sure why they decided to put the old heads next to each other. <laughs> I, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, there's plenty of younger, uh, more astute individuals, perhaps, that are good at stacking uh, uh, books. Although, uh, I did see a few, uh, uh, what, 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 were, what were we talking about? Are you all right? Huh? Yes. No, I'm I'm fine. I've just I was just my back's just acting up again. I there is a um dragonborn technique of chiropractic that I could practice if you so wish. Oh, I, that's that's wonderful. You know, honestly, it's kind of nice to talk to you a bit. Uh cuz you know, it's a, a bit riveting. Kevin Kevin doesn't really respond. Uh mm. there's not a lot of intelligence uh with with Kevin. But Kevin, where are you? I, I need your help, Kevin. I'm going to uh, call for my familiar, Kevin. Mm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what is your familiar? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of familiar is it? Uh, it's a flump. Oh, a flump. of oh. course. Of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you actually did warn me about this, and I mm -hmm. completely forgot one moment. Uh, <laughs> good thing uh, I always have flumps ready to go, uh, you know, uh, for just such an occasion. 
Mm. While you're playing that up, George, I'm going to quickly shout out a couple of donations we received uh, oh in the God. past couple of minutes. Um, $25 from Necro. Thank you 20 for the $25, Necro. Uh, Wayward donated $100. Thank you so much, Wayward, as well, uh, for helping us almost hit our next goal. Um, Wayward, <laughs> with 100 uh, you can give any player an uncommon magic item. So if you're in chat, Wayward, let us know who you'd like to give an item to as well. Thanks, everybody. And, and we all got inspiration too, is that right? Yes, we did. So Dr. Penguin's $200, he's decided to split uh, among inspiration among all of us. So we all get an inspiration. No I'm feeling very inspired. <laughs> yes, all of a sudden, I think it's the arrival of your flumph. Uh Oh, well, hello! Uh, how can I help you? Oh, Kevin, it's so good that you're here. Uh, uh -huh. were, were, you able to, were you able to find out anything about what's going on? Oh, there's just a bunch of nasty business involving the janitorial staff. Oh. Also, kind of look at Rav. <laughs> I think there might be a fight happening upstairs. Oh. Oh. oh uh, a I fight between what? Yes, that's a good question. Two couples are arguing like cats, or oh. or possibly bug bears, owl bears. I don't know. Those are very distinct forms of combat, Kevin. You should well, be more I didn't stay very weapons. close, but they seemed very irate with each other. Uh, while this, you guys are diversing uh and, and sharing this gossip uh gonna just cut over here real quick uh Adelise, you are helping a customer who has just come in um which shield why have you come to candle keep i don't know if i could recall i think <laughs> uh you know just looking for some work really and um usually where there's people who read a lot of books and or have access to all the books they got money to give me to keep those books protected okay so you're, you're sort of like uh at least you're probably trying to put stuff away or, or catalog things and this person's asking basically if you guys have any work uh or if you offer got any services for adventurers my resume uh excuse me excuse me what scare uh I have my resume. Could you just maybe hire me and I can carry some of your books? Oh, um, thank you for this. She takes the piece of parchment and kind of eyes it a little bit. Um, I, you probably need to speak to one of the avowed, but they're rather busy today, but I, I can hold on to it for you and live it to them at my earliest convenience. Yes, it's magnifique, but you can also, if you want to hire me, say, uh, over, under the Z table, you know, uh, you give me the silver and I lift the books. Lifting, lifting the books for silver. She kind of runs through mainland idioms in her head for a <laughs> moment. Um, I... I, I can take you over to one of my compatriots who might be a little bit more helpful. I'm terribly sorry, I've only been here a few months and I've mostly been studying and doing chores. So let me escort you to them if that's all right and maybe they'll be a little bit more helpful. We oui, no, it's a good idea, but are, where is your ambition? Why are you not running this place by now? A few months, you should be king of this library. I don't live here. I'm I'm just here for a little bit. I'm just studying. It's just learning more, experiencing the world, and then moving on to the next place where you can absorb new experiences and knowledge. And is there more? Oh, there's always more. There's always more. Take me to you your leader. Okay. <laughs> 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 With a minimal grasp of what's happening right now, she is going to escort S.H.I.E.L.D. around the corner. And she's heard all the little humdrum and scuffling of um, her older compatriots and just kind of has this little paper clutched to her chest and uh, glides over and stops before the pair of them. This individual um, handed me this. She just kind of sticks it out in their general direction no particular recipient. 
Um, <laughs> and for reference, it's just a self-portrait. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> there was um, mention of silver and and tables, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure what it means. Silver and, and, and tables. Are Under, you a carpenter? Or, or over, I think there was. Uh... I've never direction. been one, but I could be. I, I just want a little bit of coin, maybe some places to sleep, and I can lift all of the books for you. You are trying to rob us? I'm offering my no, um, my skills to your uh, building of knowledge. Yes. Uh, Rav will oh. look shield up and down. What what does what do I see? Like I, I think you you said that you're a barbarian. Is that kind of like evident? I'm a fighter. I probably a said fighter. barbarian because that's all I ever play. <laughs> but turns out I'm a fighter. <laughs> um, shield is um, like an average height. Uh, red, like a, a lovely like oh god, like crimson red tiefling uh, with a well coiffed mustache. Um, I think a, a nice puff of curly hair, some dramatically but well-maintained horns that probably get knocked along every doorway. Uh, the ends are a little blunted as a result. Um, they wear um, like a matching tracksuit with like leather armor kind of covering it. It gives you an idea of what they used to do or maybe what they spend most of their time doing. And they have um, running shoes with a bit of a heel. Hmm. Uh, I think perhaps we have something better than lifting books for you. This, um, familiar has said that there is a fight nearby. And in our old age, a little, uh, you know, feigned smile curls across Raph's face. We aren't much for resolving these sorts of disputes anymore. Certainly something more appropriate for the likes of the two of you, I think. Brilliant! Why the the man with the beard? Uh, but no, I I'm uh, no, I'm not fighting. There's you a there's so a young. rabble. Ah, uh. young. <laughs> you you young. She said I was young. <laughs> oh, I am a he. Oh, he he's a. I'm so <laughs> My confused. My name is Shield. What what Where? is your name again? Uh, me? Oh, oh, I'm I'm Kittredge. Ah. Uh, uh, and you're, 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 you have a shield. I have a shield and I am shield. It's kind of my uh, thing. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Appropriate. Yes. I, I, I am Rav. And I think we have walked by each other in the halls before. But who are you? He looks at Adelaide. Oh. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I didn't properly introduce myself before. She dips into this overly elegant curtsy, dipping one foot behind her and sweeping down gently into an arc. It is clear that she has spent probably far more hours than she would have preferred perfecting that maneuver. <laughs> I am a younger daughter of House Semara out of Evermeet. And I've only been here a few months, but I'm so excited to help you do what it is that you're doing today. I'll sort of narrow my eyes at uh, the church and say, looks like our prayers have been answered. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I think we could use you uh, up upstairs. I I believe of that course. there's a, a rabble rousing. At this moment, you guys hear a door wham, slam shut. Oh. Uh, or rather slam open and you hear someone yelling, I don't want to see you here again. Um, you recognize that voice as Silvira. Uh, uh -huh. Silvira uh, Savikas, she is a tiefling and one of the uh, avowed who uh, runs the uh, runs Candlekeep. She is like one of the top specialists here and you have never heard her so furious. Storming away from that, uh, is where you encounter uh, our good friend, Loza. Oh, <laughs> you didn't get in a fight with El Silvira? <laughs> well, uh. so you're probably wondering what happened. Um, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, you know Silvira 
loves the arcane arts uh, mm -hmm. and delves into things that are infernal, you know, that doesn't usually play well with you. Uh, uh, yes, yes. The thing, though, is uh, you may have let your temper get the best of you and you smite at her familiar. <gasps> oh, dear. Uh, yeah. It comes back. It won't come back for 99 years! She's oh. furious. Oh, dear. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, Loza just walks out looking a little sad, dejected. This is probably your first breakup uh, of this scale. Uh, so what what kind of devastation are we in for as you come storming out into this library where it's normally, again, pretty quiet? Loza just starts crying. <laughs> Your um, mic is cutting oh out. Well, it, 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 it's, oh this no. noise <laughs> protection is cutting Brian's off so all the crying crying. that she's not even making noise anymore. Yeah. My just... dramatic crying. No. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, <laughs> we all just look at each other. Uh, Rav is like, I suppose we should address this. And we'll turn the corner. You guys are like all like poking your heads mm -hmm. out from various books. Like, so kind of like seeing. Yeah. <laughs> you see uh, a paladin. Um, she has long red hair and iridescent armor. Um, and like a little a little skirt little little skirt armor um like sailor moon um <laughs> and uh she has a tiara and a sword and a shield and she's very tall um she doesn't she looks kind of human but almost like taller and more like bigger than your average like size human maybe like 6 foot eight or something pretty tall um maybe that might be a little six foot six or something um and you see her clasping a pendant um as she's crying and she says love can be a test sometimes suni just why does it hurt so much and she's crying <laughs> and while clasping her pendant <laughs> I just lean over to Rav. I uh, don't think I'm qualified for this. No, I don't. I wouldn't say that I am either. I just, I just look over at the other two, <laughs> like expectantly. We both raise our eyebrows. <laughs> uh, am I hired? I nod my head. We both just nod. Um, allons-y. I'm gonna like step out like I had, you know, been intending this the whole time. Uh, bonjour, madame. Uh, you are looking like a waterfall. Oh, um, hello. You have uh, a very nice accent. Oh, thank you. It's uh, <laughs> French Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard of this land. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's Pretty sure it's Luskin. <laughs> It's not the Sword Coast, <laughs> is it? No. Uh... West Coast. <laughs> West Coast. There are many planes. <laughs> um, um, are, are you uh, well? Are you uh, composed? No. Uh, are you okay? Well, since you asked, um, no, <laughs> I'm not okay. Um, I, I think I just got broken up with. Y you, you think? When somebody says they never want to see you again, does that mean they never want to see you again? When it is yelled and then there is stomping, yes, yes, typically. <sighs> well, not every love can win. Sometimes there is a time and place for certain love. And perhaps Sylvira's time and mine are over. What is your name, if I might ask? Um, I am Loza. I am a protector of this place. Um, at least I was previously. I don't know what my status is now. Um, and, uh, I serve the goddess Sune. Uh, as a protector, are you not... Did you lose your job because 
you got broken up with? Yes. See, Sylvira, she's like one of like the head honchos here, and I was kind of like helping out and stuff, oh. and like now I don't really know uh, if she doesn't I've, if she doesn't want to see me anymore. Then I guess I guess I'll leave. Uh, I mean, I am job hunting as well. I just started working at the library, um, and I'll gesture oh. to like the three heads around the oh. corner. <laughs> Uh, hey, Kittrick! Just like dart Kittrick. back. <laughs> Kittrick! Like, uh, maybe yes, we could find Kevin. something that, uh, that. a book about Sune or something that'll make her feel better. Yeah, I think that. Uh, that's, uh, that's a. That's a wonderful idea. Uh, you, what was your name again? Uh, Ad, 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 Adelina? Ad, uh, yeah, yeah, what, what was your Adelaise. name? Adelaise. Adelaise, yes. Uh, uh -huh. Could you. Find me a book about <laughs> Sune. Absolutely. I'll get you one on Hanley Selena as well. Look at I, the double the time, I don't want Kevin to get uh, whatever happened uh, over there. We want to keep the big one uh, happy. Okay. I can do that for you. W wonderful. Yeah, double time now. Uh, let's, let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> so uh, she heads off in the direction where she knows first the Seldrain is, um, and she gets the elven goddess of love and beauty and snatches that book up. And also, because I'm assuming the religion sections are somewhat similar in yeah. categorization, she will also go and grab anything she can get her little fingers on for soon. Um, you start looking around, uh, and as you do, you quickly find this book, which is quite striking looking. Ooh. Very fancy book, uh, uh, trimmed in gold, uh, uh, green leather cover underneath it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful looking book. Uh, it, it does appear to, uh, it actually hasn't been categorized yet. Uh, it's been recently brought here, but the book uh, does have uh, sort of iconography on it of Sune. Perfect. Then she holds it to her chest along with any other books she grabbed along the way. And she is definitely taking uh, the instruction of double time to heart. And her little feet are just pitter pattering throughout <laughs> uh, the little cobblestone areas, the tiled areas. And she gets back as soon as she possibly can. Uh, um, while she was gone, Rav okay. would, yeah. would turn to Kevin and say, I have a question, Kevin. Uh -huh. The fighting that you spoke of, was that it? And I gesture to Lisa. Yeah, they were, it was, it was scary. Uh, there was some screaming and then uh, I heard one of them make an oath and then I heard something scream. Right. I suppose everything is fine then. Oh, and, didn't uh, we tell Shield to uh, have him ha handle it, uh, like uh, physically? I think he we should is. probably. Well, shouldn't we stop that if it's over? Uh, I think Shield is helping to make it be over. Oh, oh, Let's okay. Walk over there. Oh, okay, okay, uh, sure. Uh, Kevin, Kevin, you stay here and stay hidden. I don't want anything oh, to happen okay. like last time. Boy, yeah. Well, and I'll you hobble see, over with Rav. You see, she and I first met when we were <laughs> both um, stumbled upon each other at a small oh. city uh, in Waterdeep. A uh, big city, actually. Uh, Waterdeep. Um, mm -hmm. And it was, you know, we're kind of opposites in some ways. She deals in the infernal. I deal in, you know, the the gods. Um, and it's... But it, it just works, you know? It just works. So... Oh. Mm hmm uh, yes. I think oh. I do. Oh, look, there's my allies. Um, bonjour, bonjour. Oh, yes. uh, hello. hello. Bonjour. Hello. Um, are you all also work at the library? Yes. Was yes. that the very Silvira Savicus that yes. is a member of the Avowed here? Yes. You just, just don't say her name. I see. <laughs> She must not be named. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, I just well. call her still. Mm. You know, ten years, seventy-five years. Is that how long you are, or how old you are, or how long you have been here? Oh, of of course, yes. I'm seventy-five years young. Here, uh, Adelis, you return. By the way. <laughs> awesome. She scurries up, dress a flutter. She's got several tomes clamped to her chest, but the pretty one with the mirror on first comes out and is extended towards Losa. I think mm. maybe this might be helpful. This is it's very beautiful. Pretty. Yes. She takes it um, and holds it in her hands. This is a beautiful book. Thank you. It's As you a recent edition. look at the book and you see your reflection in that mirror that's on the cover, your reflection transforms into the goddess of Sune. Ooh! Into her visage. Whoa. And cool. you hear mm. a voice speak. Well met, dearest one. How do you Whoa. feel today? Uh, Sune? Um, I... I... Um, well, I was sad, but now I see you, and I'm happy. Hmm. If rest and relaxation or transformation is what you need, then follow the lilies, dearest one. Follow the lilies. I am Silvery, and I will see to your needs. Oh, Silvery. Who are you? Where are you from? As you are asking this question, all of you guys watch as the book's mirror starts to grow oh. in her hands. It's growing, and uh, Loza, it's actually kind of getting, like, it's beyond two feet wide now as it's oh. growing quickly in your hands. You guys uh, to is this normal for the books here? <laughs> Uh, uh, not that will, I've seen. Rav will turn to Adelaide and say, Girl, where did you grab this book from? It was on a shelf. Which uh, shelf? Which shelf? I don't know the lot. In oh. in the religion section, the ones that haven't been put away yet, they're new. But I it was in the area. They need to do larger background checks. It's hard to get good help, Rav. The book continues to grow until it becomes a five foot wide, seven foot high mirror that's standing in the middle of the room whoa in the mirror you can see the glass is clear now there's no reflection in it but it ripples as if it might be some type of portal uh, is it is it now separate from the book uh the book has sort of like is now like part of the back of it uh and the rest of this thing is just standing tall as a massive mirror do we see what's through the portal or is it opaque? Uh, it appears to be opaque. It looks like just a silvery reflection. Hmm. Mm. Well, well uh, it is impressive. No, I one mean, thing I can I say be... is our most dangerous books would not be kept in this hall. So if it is to transport us somewhere might be an experience that would prove valuable to each of us. Uh, if you need a bodyguard, I am already on your payroll. Alors, say, <laughs> with good. I, I, I concur. I think we should be... Uh, you, uh, the, the sad one, uh, wh what happened when you held the book? What did you um, do? I thought I saw Suni. My, my goddess. And... I forgot. I already forgot the name of the shit. Shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she, a, a voice spoke to me, and and said to follow the lilies. This is a, this is surely a sign. This is a sign from Sune. Oh. Uh. How do you interpret this sign? I'm just so I understand. Well, I was feeling sad, and the book spoke to me. And now it's a mirror. So, 
Okay, no, this is, is yeah, if your god says go, we should go. Yes, but we should. What's the word? So you're happen? saying this is exactly what you needed. Yes. Yeah, Rav, I keep saying that they're just doing really well with their hirings. I mean, they just, they're phen phenomenal work, young lady. Thank you. Yes, forgive my outburst. Yes. Here at the keep, we like to uh, make sure that every, wait, you, you work here. I recognize you. Uh, oh. I'm confused. Are, are we going through this thing? Yes, Let's just step um, through. Uh, uh, perhaps I will way? step through first. I, I will, um, <laughs> got to, I have to um, make it the payments worth my body. Nope, that didn't come out right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will step through the mirror. As you step through, they are suddenly gone, but you find yourself standing in what looks like a dense forest. Uh, but there is a path surrounded with lilies leading ahead to what looks like a small clearing. Ah, follows the lilies. So they went through okay, first, the rest of you all just waiting? Should we uh, keep following? Rav will grab Citrich's hand and be like, <laughs> all right, old friend, come on. Oh, these are days past, but okay, you lead, friend. you lead. And we'll just hobble in, or I'll yeah. hobble in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the two of you hopple in. Uh, Adelis, Loza. After you. Adelis mm. puts the other collection of love-centric literature to the side. <laughs> kind of like make sure it's very neat and tidy, but clearly in a spot that indicates that it needs to be put away at some other point. Does a half curtsy and just kind of glides regally in. Like this is no stranger to her at all. Okay, you step through. Uh, as you guys all do that, uh, we are left behind uh, with, uh, of course, uh, the flum. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. 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 Huh. Oh. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I starts putting books away. Um, <laughs> uh, elsewhere, uh, you guys find yourself standing. One moment, one moment. Uh, you uh, find yourself following a path and you're leading, uh, this path is leading you with white lilies uh, through the forest. The forest is very dense and thick. You're not sure where you are, unless any of you wants to try to like perceive or, or gather information about where you are. Mm -hmm. Has Rosa um, gone through? I, I just want uh, to verify. Yes, I also did go through. Okay. Um, okay. And I, Loza is not really going to question it. She just feels this is all a sign, so she's just going to follow the lilies. All right. Yeah. Rav will will kind of look to the group and and say, "All right. I suppose I must be the one to talk about extra planar safety." All right. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have transported to another domain. Uh, this one should serve not very dangerous in my expectation, given its origin from a goddess of love, was it? Yes. And you are a cleric of this god? Paladin. Yeah, I live to serve. Sa same difference. <laughs> Well, correct me if I'm wrong. What would be the difference? I'm not I am a servant I'm... of the gods. Clerics follow an order of the gods. Well, oh. I don't know if that's actually... It, 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 <laughs> there are some muddled things in there, yes. But there are differences. Oh, look, some more lilies. Uh, perhaps we could keep following? <laughs> sure. Just be or... mindful. Be careful. If we encounter any beings or native species, be respectful and cautious. Uh, what's everybody's survival? I have plus a plus three. Plus one. Zero. Zero. 
Okay, so uh, uh, Kittrich, as he is, uh, as Rav is explaining about, you know, the dangers of another domain and everything, you're looking around and you're pretty sure you're in the high forest. Oh, I, uh, I recognize this place. This is, uh, uh, I believe this is the high forest. I've, uh, I, back in my day, there was uh, quite a bit of uh, things I got. You know, I actually am a bit of a cleric myself. I do, uh, oh. Quite a bit of clerical work. Oh, that's that is funny. It, that was a uh, good not joke. Not really. It's actually quite boring. Uh, uh, so the high, high, high mountains, high lands. A uh, forest. Uh, I, yes. I forest. The high forest. Um, where is that? You don't uh, know. High forest. Uh, so uh, you've traveled around a bit. You would know it's the <laughs> biggest forest in all of. Uh, the Sword Coast. Um, and it's not just called the High Forest because of how high the trees go up, but also it does house a lot of elves. Um, but as you guys are moving forward and following the lilies, you see your path leads to a building. Uh, it's rather nice looking. Uh, give me one moment as I just pull up the description of the outside. Um, mm, what a good um, building. It's so pretty. You mm -hmm. see oh. that there are double doors uh, on the outside, uh, which lead in, but it, it looks like a, it's a stone building um, and it, there's like a fenced area where you see some trees. It looks like a garden. Um, it's it's rather nice looking and just glancing. You see a lot of like stained windows. The windows have uh, uh, sort of images that invoke the goddess of Sune, um, though they're not of Sune in particular, these windows, they're just sort of like, have that kind of vibe of love, lots of pastels, lots of beautiful imagery. Um, very quickly, uh, I want to, it's been a hot minute since I've called out some donations and we've gotten quite a few, including a new one that just came in. Um, so I'm going to quickly shout out the most recent donations. We got John Green, $50. Thank you so much, John Green. I don't know if we got this from you, but you are able to give inspiration to a player or the DM. Uh, let us know if you're still here in chat, John Green. Thank you so much for the $50. Uh, Minky, thank you, Minky, for the $10 donation as well. Really appreciate it. Real Gobshite, aka Jared. Thank you, Jared, for $20 uh, as well. And then Panic Switched, thank you, Tabian, for $200. I do the opposite of what Tracy recommends two Nat 20s for George and one inspiration for Arcane Adam. Oh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, um, by the way, uh uh, uh, Adalis, you can add, uh, earlier you got a magic item, you can add a Ooh. gem of seeing. Oh. Um, and we are now at $900, $905. Uh, so we did hit uh, our Strahd appears in game milestone. Our next milestone is 1K, uh, which is our goal. We do have stretch goals. Like Save the Children overall was like, uh, I think they had $3,000. So if we can hit $3,000, that would be amazing. Um, but we're very close to our initial goal of $1,000. So thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna actually awesome. go ahead and just activate the next stretch goal. Uh, no. Uh, uh -oh. just to say, so that I'm way to activate it, the next I thought he was about to say, yeah, activate uh, <laughs> that goal. <laughs> 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 uh, okay, oh yes, um, and Wayward, it, Wayward also gave you uh, a magic item. Gave uh, me a magic item? Yeah, so he he donated $100, which is give a magic item, and he said give it to George. Okay. Very good. Great. <laughs> you guys, you know, you we, you keep giving everything to the DM. Uh, this is... Uh... <laughs> they already have so much. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm going to get rid of... Um, I'm getting rid of that rule. <laughs> uh, Strad gets a magic item. Gets a magic item. Yeah. Please, um, God no. So yeah, you guys see this some... beautiful building up ahead with all this like beautiful stained glass. Um, you can hear uh, the sounds of what sounds like a kitchen, possibly, uh, and you hear what sounds like uh, like physical exertion coming from the garden to the left. Exquisite. Okay. Do we recognize this building as some sort of like temple to Sune or something? Landmark. Um, yeah. 
you could make a uh, a history check, and Loza, you can make a religion check. Okay. All right. Can I assist I with the history either. check? Because sure. I'm a Ooh. learned. Is that? Oh, uh. Uh, you can just both roll. Also doing one, or okay, great. Yeah, yeah. I just got both roll. A nineteen plus four, so twenty-three. Yeah, I rolled okay. a nine. So. <laughs> nine <laughs> twenty. Uh, yeah, Loza, Amazing. you have no idea. The two of you recognize this must be the Restful Lily. Uh, it is known as the Temple, uh, the Temple of the Restful Lily. Uh, it offers many services and treatments uh, uh, to for relaxation and things like that. Um, it is uh, widely known, uh, but it's it's so hidden in the high forest that getting there is sort of like a best kept secret. Uh, but you've hmm. heard, you know, tales of someone saying like, oh, well, I had the best vacation at the Restful Lily. Ah, the Restful Lily, yeah. Uh, so then in that case, Rav will, because it was me and Citrus that recognized this, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Rav will look at, at Citrus and say, is this what I think it is? Oh, I remember it fondly back in my days with the, uh, you've been, uh, oh, uh, I believe so once many, many, many years ago. I'm going to pull up my sword. Should be, but, uh, is this? Uh, no, a time no, for no. violence? This is uh, a, um, a temple. A temple of the restful lily. It's a, um, ah, okay. a place to relieve your burdens. You actually oh. remember, specifically the two of you remember hearing about this from someone named Thalthrax Lauder. And he was a shield dwarf who worked at Candlekeep. Uh, and he one day disappeared. And when he came back, he looked 20 years younger and he announced that he was quitting. <laughs> oh, okay. you remember, uh, what was his name? Fal, Falmax, Falcrax. Fal, yes, yes. It, you, he, he kind of disappeared for a bit and then uh, he came back uh, uh, re rejuvenated, I, I believe. This place is uh, remarkable. That sounds lovely. Quite. It, uh, I believe, is uh, very welcoming as well. Rav Should looks we very, look? yeah. Rav looks very keen to to go, but looks to Losa to lead the way. Yes. Well, I certainly could use some rest and relaxation after the day I've had. So, she heads up first. <laughs> huh. Also, uh, oh, very quickly, yes, um, Mike N, thank you for $200, holy, wow. holy shit, for Miss Magitek, woo, uh, so I get plus two, uh, to an ability score, I think awesome. I'm gonna put that, put that in my strength, so I can have a 20 <laughs> in strength, uh, nice. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, what, I, I have to think for a moment, I'll put it, thank you so much for helping us hit 1k already, oh my gosh, we still have a whole second game to go, thank you so much, everybody, really appreciate it. That. We're gonna have to think of more stretch goals during the break. I know. <laughs> You're too kind. Yes. Thank you. The double doors of the temple open to the sound of a bell. Beyond the doors is a large lobby, the air heavy with the scent of fresh lilies. A desk stands to the center of the room, uh, holding neatly piled papers and fresh cut lilies in a vase. A dark-haired man in fine clothes stands up from behind the desk as he sees you. Welcome, friends, to the restful lily. Freshen yourselves in our luxurious bathhouse, or perhaps you'd enjoy a massage, a haircut, a shave, or pedicure. Oh, road tire feet, simply cry out for comfort. Whatever your pleasure, I am here to serve. All of the above? Uh -huh, Is there a full the package? package. Uh, ah. So the services here, uh, I'll just go through them one more time. You have entry to the bathhouse costs five gold, uh, and it includes the use of the enchanted baths, uh, a comfortable robe, a private changing room with a lockable trunk. Uh, there's also lodging available uh, for uh, people who just want to visit, and that's for four gold. Meals cost five silver, uh, and you can get a haircut or a shave or a waxing for just two gold. Um, 
and uh, there's massages for 20 gold and a manicure for two silver. Hmm. Ooh. A pedicure might incur additional fee depending on the cleanliness of the customer's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Does he um, tell us all this, or is that like th- on there's a, like a he's like handing you guys menus? He's like running okay. you through it. Uh, my name's Safe. Anything you need, just let me know. Thank you very much. This uh, is, is, is of... oh, you, you had a question. Go ahead. No, I was just saying this seems quite lovely. I'm uh, I'm very excited as uh, as he kind of like. You see his like little feet underneath his robes kind of like tap a little bit. And, and what you notice now is you kind of look down and it kind of like echoes probably in the, is that they're actually slippers. Uh, and you can see out, outside of the robe, just tucked underneath are long pajamas that he's just constantly wearing. And he just kind of seems like excited and uh, it starts like pointing at things and, and looking at it with wrath. I'll, I'll put my hand on his shoulder and say, come, come, let us let the young ones go first. Oh, they have plenty of time. I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, I just have a question for the front desk. Um, is there like a group rate? Uh, so to, to simplify this, uh, I will assume that you guys all have plenty of money if you wish to indulge in any services. So I'll don't worry about that. Now. You guys Perfect. decide what services you want to do. Simply for the sake of it's a one shot. It's for charity. We've yeah. just made a thousand dollars. So uh, <laughs> yeah. we all have a thousand gold. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing nefarious could happen. So hundred yeah, percent. I'll do the uh, deluxe package. Oh, wonderful, sir. Here's your uh, key for your locker. Just pick one of the rooms up ahead. And uh, there's all these curtains. Uh, they open up to reveal. Oh. Uh, various changing rooms, basically. Uh, it's at this time that I need to ask if any of you are going to the spa, uh, to the luxurious, uh, the uh, what, is, what do they call it again? One moment. Uh, 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 if you were entering the bathhouse, I just need to know uh, how you each dress for a bathhouse. Do you have the option um. of uh, robe, swimsuit, or... Uh, nothing. Can I wear a tiny towel? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll say, nothing, I'll, put, like, I'll follow that under swimsuit. Yeah, sure. It's just a okay. towel, like, around your waist. Yeah, but it's like a hand towel. Got Two it. hand towels. <laughs> 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 like a little... <laughs> yeah, a little loincloth <laughs> towels. <laughs> no, I definitely take the luxurious soft robe. Okay, you take the luxurious soft robe. Got it. Um, I'll just put you guys in different changing rooms real quick. Mm-hmm. Ba, 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 ba. Before before Rav goes or accepts any service, he he a- asks a question of the the man at the front desk, mm-hmm. and it says, "These services are they in any way magical?" Do we do have some magical services. You would have to talk to our uh, head of staff. Where can I find them? Uh, well, they're, they're spread out throughout the facilities. There are three of them. Uh, out the fine ladies who run the establishment, I'm sure you'll see them. and You can inquire them about special services should your weary bones need them. Hmm. And I'll look them up and down. And um, I think Rav would go to search for one of those posts Great. rather than starting to change. Okay. Um, you're going to look around, uh, and what about you, uh, Adelaise? Adelaise is from Evermeet. She has absolutely no qualms about using the bathhouse in the nude. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> all right. So, uh, <laughs> to, 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 and, uh, I already got Loza's answer. Uh, so, uh, you guys are getting changed. Uh, Rav, uh, you can choose to either go to the left door or the right door. <gasps> Uh oh. <laughs> Left door well, leads well, to uh, like a yeah. garden area you saw outside. Right door mm-hmm. might lead to a kitchen. I'm going to go to the garden. Okay. You head out to the garden. Uh, and as you do, you see. Uh, you see outside there's a bunch of workout equipment among some uh, two very tall trees. There are two people with like weights and they look positively exhausted, drenched in sweat. And you see one woman who seems rather, uh, she seems to be handling it much better. 
Uh, and she looks like this. One moment, one moment. Uh, bah, bah. Oh. <laughs> so you say she seems to be handling it much better, so she's also working out? Uh, yes, but she's also seemingly giving instructions. Again, up and down, and up <laughs> and down. Oh, hello there. How may I help you? Looking to uh, get yourself I, in shape? I'll approach and say, in a way or another. Hmm? Huh? I was referred here by an old companion, um, Balthrax, a dwarf. Does the name strike you as familiar? Uh, make a, well, actually, they're going to make a check. Actually, I'm going to have them roll a nat, nat 20. Uh, I'm going to spend one of the nat 20s I have. So they, yes, I believe it is. They died some time ago, didn't they? Did they? Uh, or, or, what is the name you said? I'm sorry. Oh, you were oh, talking about Arthur, um, the dwarf. Who, oh, the dwarf. I'm who, sorry. I thought you were mentioning something yeah, else. Yeah. They mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm not going to use that 20 then on that. I'm sorry. I was distracted. Uh, oh, good. Let's get a quick yes. uh, shout out. Go ahead, Tracy. <laughs> I was, yeah, I, <laughs> I was saw actually that distracted by too. that so badly. Sorry. I didn't yeah. even see what it was. <laughs> so um, this is uh, my first, our first time using Tiltify. And I believe... Uh, D Panic Switch is doing a do donation match. So he's going to match $500 um, to anybody who starts donating now um, for the rest of the stream. He will match five up to $500 of any other donations that come in. So wow. holy wow. shit. Crazy. Thank you, Panic Switch. Thank you so much. Uh, so if anybody so cool. wants to donate um, and we hit 500, there'll be a donation match there. So thank you. Um. So uh, you uh, are talking to um, uh, this woman uh, and you ask her about uh, your old friend who came here previously. That's right. Yes, yes, I remember him. He came here quite tired from Candlekeep. Is that where you come from? Yes, a group of us just found our way here. Well, we were able to help him very well. I and another companion of mine may be interested in that same service. Hmm. She looks you over and she's like sort of like getting like sizing you up. I'm not sure if you have the strength to really undergo that service. Allow Would you mind working out a little bit so I can see the current physique we're working with? Can, can I make an insight check if this is, like, actually her way of determining that, or if she's just messing with me? Go ahead and make a, yeah, go ahead and roll insight. All right. Beautiful plus zero to a natural one. Oh, awesome. my God. Awesome. <laughs> she, uh, you, you believe that she's concerned for your health? Uh, and, uh, I mean, this is the procedure that you saw your friend undergo. Uh, it was pretty, what it did was pretty extraordinary. So, right. yeah, I mean, you know, maybe Falthrax was in better shape than you are. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Only one way to find out. Rav will look at her uh, eyes narrowing to see if she's actually serious about it. And then assuming she is. He'll go forward and he sees there's a third, uh, you know, weight, a third dumbbell there that's not being used. Mm -hmm. And while he's walking, he's going to try to uh, clandestinely summon up a mage hand so that he has a spec, like hopefully a spectral hand to ad additionally magically help his own strength. <laughs> Okay. Like an extra ten pounds. You can make these checks. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Just an extra she ten She has you lift up the dumbbells and start doing squats, uh, and she's coaching you the whole time on what to do. Right. Uh, as you're doing that, uh, you can go ahead, and I will say for uh, one of these checks, you can get advantage, but there's a series of checks. The first one is a con save, a DC 10. Okay, great. Okay. And uh, can I use inspiration after making the first roll? Sure. Okay, great. All right, here's my con. 
Uh, great. Okay. That's a 19 plus two. So 21 for the Easy concert. peasy. All right. Keep okay. going. Keep going. Work them glutes. <laughs> All right. That's a <sighs> DC 13 con save now. Okay. So another one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Apparently, I only know how to roll 19s and 1s. Mm. So that's another that <laughs> one. I am going to spend my inspiration. Yes. Uh, thank you from earlier. So I'll make another con save. Um, so I'll spend the inspiration on that. Okay. That's a 17, 15 plus 2. So that's. that's All right, keep it up. Keep it up. Work that sweat. <laughs> uh, she's shouting at you. Uh, make a DC 16 con save. <laughs> Great. Uh, and then the advantage from the mage hand, do I have to choose to get advantage beforehand? Oh, uh, you can you, you can use it after. It's fine. Do it after. OK, yeah. great. All right. Here we go. First roll. Ooh, that's a 14. So I will I'll use my mage hand to try to help me. You're roll like, one more time. and you use oh. the mage hand to try to. That's another 19. Plus 19. Two, yeah. So and so you're working out a sweat here uh, and she is sort of coaching you on it. Uh, yes, yes, go, go. And she's going to just keep having you work out. Uh, but you already feel mm -hmm. a little bit like, yeah, maybe I, I, I can do this. You know, like this, this right. is the place for me. Um, elsewhere, uh, you guys are getting changed. I'm just going to move you real quick into the bathhouse and then put you in your new outfits. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so fanciest robe. There we go. Um, in the bluff uh, swimsuit, which is we're gonna say is two towels. Uh, there weren't <laughs> towels on Hero Forge. Uh, so here we go. Uh, you guys are all dressed up uh, to go uh, to the bathhouse. There you are. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's like the sims <laughs> <laughs> you guys start wading into the water uh, the bathhouse itself uh, the bath and hot spring this floor is polished with white marble and surrounds a large sensual pool teeming with turquoise water uh, it's sort of like a large open air bath Stone pillars stand along the outside wall with sculpted uh, relief carvings of Sune. And between the pillars, uh, there's frosted windows diffused with light from the outside, uh, sort of allowing like mist to hang in the air from the warm springs. So yeah, uh, you guys are uh, relaxing in the water. Is there... Uh, you know, how, how are you guys enjoying it? Uh, are, are any of you <laughs> feeling awkward amazing. due to the uh, nope. current state of undress of some of your friends? <laughs> no. That was a slap breath. <laughs> She's just <laughs> sprawled out in the water like, oh, I could be here all day. This is lovely. <laughs> this reminds me of my university days. <laughs> 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 and uh, once once I get in the water, uh, yeah, Kittrich is one hundred percent just nude. He okay. just he just and he's got this little like like no pot you belly. Just robe, like, of course. You know, I don't um, I don't wear the robe in, but yeah, he's just got like you know this like little pot belly, you know, like that he just kind of like waddles in slowly and probably goes to like Losa. Could you help me? And I don't want to fall. And I, he like asked like for her to help. I just want to shout out that I spent for no reason other than I thought it was funny, an extra two hours prepping for this session to give each of you guys three different options on what to wear. Cause That's I didn't perfect. know who would want Love to be it. naked. So hey, the uh, I should have just known off. like one person is going to go naked and then the rest are probably going to just follow. <laughs> um, um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, real quick, just want to shout out the next couple of uh, donations that came in because we got quite a few. Uh, Necro, $25. Thank you so much. Uh, Josh, thanks, Josh. Oh, inspiration for Loza. Thank you. Uh, Doomshy, uh, $50. Inspiration for George. Uh, go team DM. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> these, these fellow DMs here. Uh, and then Pancakes, uh, $30. For the Emperor. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I know who that was. For the Emperor. Yes, thank you. Uh, Sister of Battle Reporting. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Uh, those are all donation matches. So we're now at 155 of 500 for Panic Switch donation matching. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Amazing.
<clears throat> so you guys are all checking this, out the bathing pool. This, Loza, you're uh, you like, know, relaxing this, in it. I'm, I'm happy if this is the rest of the one shot. Us just relaxing in this <laughs> nice bath. <laughs> I could show up like that. Was it, right? Pool, you know, <laughs> we can like walk around in a circle, make a little yeah. wild whirlpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there any other people here? Or is it just us? Do we have the whole place uh, to ourselves? There are other people here, but not currently in the bathing uh, room right now. Not currently in the hot springs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adelaide is wading in and kind of trailing her fingertips in the water as she's moving. She kind of does a small circle and is just gazing around at all the absolutely breathtaking architecture and the decoration and everything that goes into making this entire experience as beautiful as it is. This is so lovely. It's probably a good time for uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. to cannonball in. <laughs> uh, losing the towel. <laughs> okay, there we go. I should have should have seen that coming. <laughs> hey. <laughs> And uh, Kittredge uh, is like sitting on the steps, like he's in, like up to like you know, it's probably is like his chest, but he's just kind of sitting there, just kind of <laughs> relaxing and not really wading in the water. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this is magnifique! I, I've never been to one of these. I think I. Say. Yes, this this should be a regular trip. Actually, I'm gonna have to keep that book. <laughs> I mean, uh, this should be a uh, a work retreat. Now that I'm yes. an employee of uh, wherever you work? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know who would really uh, enjoy this? Uh, Kevin. Where, where is Kevin? Kevin? Uh, who is Kevin? Uh, Kevin is... Uh, oh, God. I, odds, I think I forgot about Kevin. Nobody else came with us. They, oh, we forgot someone? Yeah. He, uh, he, oh, he's... Okay, when we get back, uh, nobody mention any of this to Kevin. Hello? Ooh. I don't... Hello? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps Red the in place. Maybe I think there was an earthquake! <laughs> uh, yeah, don't mention it to Kevin. Kevin has um, delicate feelings. Of course, of course. Yes, I appreciate it. Um, I do wonder if it's still standing there, though. Do you think it closed behind us? Uh, the, oh, portal? the portal? Yeah. I forgot about I... that. We don't <laughs> need to go home. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> do you have the book still? Oh, no. The book basically vanished. It became one with the mirror? Yes. Oh. It's fine, right? The high forest, it's only a, a week's travel back to Candlekeep. That's fine. I Honestly, Silvira will be fine. She can handle things on her own, and she doesn't need her employees. Um, you know, it's fine. You guys are on vacation. So let's not think about work. Let's not think about how we're getting back. Let's just think about relaxing. Okay, is as, it not, let's not think about taxes. Okay, okay. Yeah. As you guys are relaxing, after about an hour of spending, about after about an hour in this bath, you will each notice uh, that you gain the effects of greater restoration. Um, beyond that, uh, your your skin any skin that's been in the water starts to appear healthier, younger. Uh, it tones down any scars or burns, any hair loss you had. It starts to sort of help fix all of those things. Uh, you all feel great and look beautiful hanging out in this bath. I feel wow. younger already. I thought I would prune. Uh, I've done the opposite of pruning. It's like a, a graping. <laughs> mm. Mm. No, I don't like that. <laughs> right. Adelaide is just admiring her skin, holding out her arms and looking at her nails and turning them slightly. Do you this all want to hear it? Oh, yes, precisely. I was, I was just going to say, this reminds me of a time in my youth when I was uh, working with a, a particular guild uh, near Waterdeep. Oh. Is yes. Have you ever heard of uh, the the Xanathar Guild? 
Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I've put many of them in jail. Right, I of course. <laughs> Uh, well, I, uh, I did some work with them uh, back uh, many, many years ago. I was a bit of a, a, a rabble ruser. And uh, and then he just begins to go on this like long, drawn out, like very <laughs> slow story that kind mm-hmm. of like jumbles and he gets people confused and he just doesn't really Retail remember correctly. And it's again. like 30 minutes of this relaxation is him just rambling. <laughs> Adelaide is paying off a the little most bit. polite attention. No, she is so enraptured, <laughs> nodding along. You make like all the eye contact with uh, mm-hmm. Citrich. <laughs> I uh, I slip down into the water a little bit, kind of catch myself as I inhale some water. Uh, is are we out? Oh no, you're still ducking. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> elsewhere, Rav, you have been brought to see the other owners of the establishment. Ooh. We have a customer who would like to receive the youth package. She's explaining to the others. In front of you, who you see are three, uh, you know, you saw one of them already, but you see three gorgeous uh, elves. They look like this. Oh. And they, one's fanning, the other one's admiring her reflection. He wants the youth package. Is that what ails you? Can I get a a little vibe check? Sure. (laughs) They are what they seem to be or perhaps something else. (laughs) And uh, can Adam get a singles check? (laughs) (laughs) And also while we're at it. (laughs) I thought it was the beard. Is there a dog? There is, yes. <gasps> Never mind, I don't need to do the vibe check. They have a dog. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding, I would. Would this be insight, or can I do... I, I'm kind of interested if they're, like, disguising themselves somehow or something. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, so you could do insight, or is there something else you would try to do? Um, I, I think I'm more focused on... If they're like lying to me, I don't think I'm going to detect that necessarily. I'm more focused on if they're disguising themselves somehow. Uh, you can make an arcana right. check. All right. Oh, great. That's one of my good rolls, he said, as he rolled a five. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's a that's a 12 total. Um, the three of them uh, do look resplendently beautiful. Uh, you imagine that there is certainly an amount of errors being put on like they they probably do use magic to enhance their beauty after all this is their business um uh but the three of them as they are talking to you they are sort of commenting on your various wrinkles uh and and your graying scales that are growing dull oh you poor thing you must have been through so much I just sort of narrow my eyes. Have we reached a new donation thing? Did we did. Happen? Oh, we yes. did. Oh my god! And we have to. We up did. It. Now we have to. Yes. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Uselbard, forty-five dollars. I want more cyberpunk Ooh. red. So yeah. now we've hit our fifteen hundred goal to run a cyberpunk red. Watch out! Hey, Uselbard, do you want to run it? <laughs> 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 yeah. just, just kidding, but not kidding. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Uselvard, uh, for helping us hit our $1,500 goal. So our next goal, we're going to jump up to $2,000. We do have an additional goal for that, uh, for Hannah to DM a one shot. Uh, so thank you so much, everybody. Thank you again. Uh, Hannah is one of our artists and yeah, the stuff, yeah, I'm honestly scared of her running a one shot because it's going to yes. be so crazy <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, they're commenting up and down about your yeah. appearance and, oh, you poor thing, you must have been through so much. No wonder mm-hmm. you need our services. It is good that the fates have brought you here. Hmm. I believe I may not be the only of my group that may wish for this service. Perhaps I could um, fetch them and to save you the time. Unfortunately, it is something we can only do one at a time. Our skills... Uh, the way we help others, it takes all three of us to manage it. 
I see. By what means do you achieve this restoration? It is through the magic of paint. We simply paint you as you are meant to be. And as we work together with our magics, the portrait becomes that which you see every time you see into the mirror, rejuvenating the body, the mind, and the spirit. Is it simply superficial, or does it actually... No. It does revert the effects. It, again, it's an arduous process. We have to paint this portrait together and weave magic into it, but you will be as young and as fit and as strong as you were in your prime. And what do you ask in exchange? Nothing too severe. Nothing from you that you would miss right now. We simply ask for a boon in a year's time. Something you can do to give back to us. Can you be more specific? It depends on how things are a year from now. We are but humble servants of beauty and youth. And... Well, keeping this place together and helping those like yourself who are in need, it takes much from us. So a year from now, who knows? Perhaps we'll need help around here. Perhaps we'll need a favor, something like that. Mm. But again, you have our word. It is nothing that you would cry parting with today. Perhaps I could partake of your other services first. Get what's left out of this old shell before I go back. Of course. Though, do understand. The process takes quite a lot of time, and we then need to take time to prepare before we can do it again. If, if your other friend comes to us first, well, you would have to wait some amount of time before we could begin the process for you. That is fair. And, uh, you will look down at the dog. I'd like to inside check the dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog looks up at you. Um, give me a, uh, go ahead and roll inside check. Um, <laughs> Just to get it by. Poppers. 12. Um, the, give me one moment, one moment. Um, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> oh, you have lore for this, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Morty. Say hello, Morty. <laughs> Morty Greetings. sort of just sighs patiently at you. Um, give me just one moment. Let me. Burr, 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 burr. Uh, um, also, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Arcade Adam. Thanks, Adam, for $100. Uh, like magic item, magic item to be. Oh, Ooh. thank you. We are doing really good with these goals. We're now at 300 of the 500 uh, matching goal uh, from Panic Switch. So thank you, everybody. Thanks again. I'm going to use my nat 20 on the dog. Oh, no. The dog <gasps> looks like a very good boy. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm. Okay. Looks like Sus. the goodest boy. Thus behavior. Uh, a small consolation given the strange feelings that uh, Rav's receiving from the dog's owners. Um, but he then turns and says, Then I shall return very soon. Of course. You head off, uh, heading to the sauna. Uh, how are you entering the... I'm guessing you're heading to the bathhouse? Mm-hmm. Yep. How are you and, entering? Uh, completely nude, and like he's not even focused on the rest and relaxation part. He comes in the room not addressing the fact that he's nude or any of that stuff, and more like he's looking down at the ground and like thinking really hard about something, and just walks <laughs> like a like the water is not even there. Just walks into the into the pool until he eventually realizes he's in it, and then 
sits yeah. and stares. You, you guys hear the door slam open as Rav just walks in, fully nude, just plunges into the water, uh, 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 feet first, walking step by step, <laughs> and just sort of like stews in it. Yep. Uh, bienvenue, welcome. Oh, um... Oh. Were you en enjoying, um, the other parts of the spa? Uh, not of the spa, no. Um, I worked out <laughs> for the okay. first time in a long time. It, this was relaxing? Not at all. <laughs> but, uh... I, I look back. Are the doors closed? Uh, yes, the doors are closed. And then I look at uh, Citrich and maybe I've come in interrupting his 30 minute long story. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, and Rao says, I have met the uh, hosts of this temple. Um, they offer a service to rejuvenate one's life in their own words, body, mind, and soul. Hmm. But this whole time, I'm sort of focused looking at Citrich to see if he gives me any measure of what he thinks, but also at the rest of you and, and say, I am unsure if I should go through with it. I have great reason to see my life extended, but I am not sure if I can trust these hosts. If you want to look amazing, you can just... And I'm gonna... Uh, Shield will stand up and kind of, like, model their new, like, unscarred, <laughs> regrown <laughs> hair, smooth skin. And I'll do, like, a couple of spins. Uh, this water is amazing. I have not drink it yet, but it's so far amazing on the body. I don't think you should drink it. Um, but... No? No? Not even probably a not. Uh, uh, it's, it is, uh, it's up to you if you want to. It's salty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it. See how it goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at uh, Rav. Um, and while he's talking, uh, can I do like a history or arcana or or anything like that that kind of like talks about like reversing youth or like you know like uh, uh, big things that talk about extending life and stuff as like lichdom and things like that. Sure, but like. Just, is there any, can I do a check to just kind of see if I can uh, think about things that would actually, or, or I've heard of anything like that that's actually possible? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you could do Arcana or Religion. Um, oof. They're about the same. I'll do, uh, I'll do an Arcana. And you still have Inspiration, too, I think. Yeah. I yes. rolled a 23. Um, Ooh, dang. but I have two, I have two Inspirations, so I'm going to, I'm just going to, it's a pretty good roll, so I'll save it. I'll save okay. them because yeah, I'm yeah. probably going to need them. Uh, you, you have heard, uh, of stories of things from the Feywild being able to offer such gifts, uh, things like, uh, Archfey and things like that are able to bestow such wonderful gifts. Um, you've heard of natural springs such as these that, uh, can rejuvenate the body and stuff like that. Um, perhaps it's a uh, magical uh, process like that. There's also, you've heard of potions of longevity, though they are banned in some parts, uh, but they can uh, increase your lifespan and perhaps it's possible uh, also through the means of a witch spell. Um, but otherwise means to become young like that are usually reserved, if not for like wild magic and the fey wilds is usually reserved for things like druids. Um, for you, though, in your experience with such a high roll that you rolled, usually these things come with strings attached or are sometimes too good to be true. But you did see that it did work for uh, your friend Falthrax. Hmm. I, uh, I think it is a compelling offer uh rav but usually there's a uh, some sort of agreement or deal that uh happens and you oftentimes don't know uh, what that might be 
I believe. Um, and I believe we are not in the Fey Wild, so I don't think it's any kind of natural occurrence. Although I can't put it past an Arch Fey to do something like this. Hmm. Do any of you have any expertise in uh, reading people? Oh, uh, there once was this time back in my youth, and he just starts to ramble on another story. Specific expertise. Sorry, I apologize. Or a, a, a skill. I need hmm. to know who I'm dealing with. Have you tried looking at them very closely and seeing if they look suspicious? I, I do have a type of divine sense to detect if they are good or evil. Oh, that may help. That may. Seems exactly like what we need, but uh, just a cursory. Uh, and you're going to see Kittredge just kind of like his shaking hands just kind of like waves in front. And you just see this like kind of trail of this like slight blur as I'm going to cast detect magic and just try to look around and just see what magics well, are, are filling this space. The whole math house just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's like, he's curious now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, you do see that, uh, there is, uh, abjuration magic filling the pool. Uh, it seems to be concentrated in one spot. Uh, oh, abjuration. Yes. We would know Which that is to be like the spell like school of uh, Greater Restoration. Yeah, mm -hmm. Greater cool. Restoration and Protection. And oh. uh, Can I look and see where it's at in the pool? Uh, yeah, you start investigating it. Does anyone else want to do anything? I want to drink the water. You're just <laughs> drinking the water, <laughs> serving it up. Yeah. <laughs> Adelaide is... Um, remarking quietly that she has some mild expertise in the Fae and the Fae Wilds that she's been on several occasions, if that's of any small use. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That could be. You've been to the Fae? You hear a voice speak. Uh, uh, Kittrich, the Yes, you're following like the the focus of the abjuration magic. You see it focused in one spot that's very close to where um, a shield is like slurping up water, uh, and no. the water starts to form into a person in front of you. Ooh! Ooh! He's just yes. like kind of startled. Oh! 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 Is Art okay? You all right? <laughs> are you? Uh, am I? Uh, are you seeing this? And I'm just like kind of standing there pointing. Yes. We see, we see them. Yes. Oh, good. I thought it was the mushrooms. Yes, I've been to the Fey Wilds. Oh. At the least, can you? I long to return to there. Uh, and Shield, you look up and see this person made of water like standing in front of you you're actually like not far from their from their bottom as you have been like slurping up water from the pool and <laughs> sort of like forming up into this person <laughs> stop drinking the water <laughs> I what's long to return to that returning? say that again what's keeping you I've been I am bound to this place. In what way? I... I was allowed access to this pool and it's... the magic of its water in exchange for protecting it. This is an oath I have made to a, an old friend. The hosts of this temple? The host, yes. You have mm. met them. No, I have. Wait, is there one or is there multiple? I'm confused. There are only three. one. Oh. Of course. What do you mean? I just. 
I, I just met with three women who claim to own this place, the pool that you reside in. No. This place belongs to Silveri. Silveri? A cleric, priestess of Sulune? Oh, I'm sorry, not Sulune, uh, of, uh, of Sune. Of Sune? As Lois, it like splashes <laughs> in the water. <laughs> like she was relaxed and then like, whoa. A, a, a priestess of Sune runs this place. That, this yes. all makes sense. I told you all it was a sign. We were meant to be here. I made my oath to her, but unfortunately, they came. Now their minions control most of this place. They? Who? The ones you met. <gasps> the three elves. Oh. Hmm. Rav is going to get out of the water. Oh, what happened to your cleric friend? I don't know. She... She was troubled for some time. And they came and they offered her... Help. Years of serving people had taken its toll on her. And they were able to help her see... A, more beautiful side of herself again. For a time. Uh, and what, af what happened after that time? I don't know. I haven't seen her again. But I've seen mm -hmm. them more and more here. Do you know when mm -hmm. you saw your friend last? How many years it's been? A decade, perhaps? A decade? It's a long time. You guys last saw your friend who came here about five years ago. Just for context. Uh, Valthrax? Yep. It, uh... Hmm. Perhaps, maybe, Rav, you don't take that, uh... Arrangement. Yes. What did they ask in exchange? You know, you get uh, the life that is beautiful and you look magnificent, and they ask for what? Your your toes? Some of your hair? I don't know. Was... I just want to know what happened to my good friend Silvere. I'll I'll turn to Shield and say, um, I was considering taking the offer, but. They were not specific about what they required in exchange. Just mm. that within a year's time, they would exact their price. Hmm. That's shady. They could give you everything you want, and after a year, they could be like, oh, we will take it back, and you will be sad and scaly. Mm. Not that um, scaliness is sad. You're, you're, you're sparkling. No offense taken. Well, I think we need to confront them. That's what I always do. Confrontation is always the answer. Tell them that they need to give... They need to tell us what happened to Silvare, and if they don't, Sune will be very displeased. Hmm. That's an option. That's, we can do that. I, I love violence. Um, I do not. Uh, no? Mm, no. But I agree there should be, uh, something, uh, perhaps, Los, you said you could, uh, divinely tell the path yes. people walk. Perhaps maybe that's a starting point. Yes, you say that much more eloquently than I do. <laughs> Wizard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we should. Uh, is the consensus? Uh, what about our, our tiny book reader? Um, Adelis, uh, is this a good idea? You know about the Fae, and perhaps we all just die if we do this? I haven't met the proprietors at all, so I have no sense of whether they could perhaps be Fae. Perhaps you haven't, like, a read ladron. about them? Uh, oh, the proprietors? No. Um, no. 
Usune is a human deity, and we in Avamid, and elves in general, have our own pantheon called the Seldarine. So it's not necessarily my area of expertise, but as for the Fae aspect, this is somewhat worrisome and very interesting, my dear friend, that you have become stuck here. I wish home for you soon. Thank is you. is there no way to contact this cleric? Any sort of bond you might have forged with such an oath? It is a very large thing to pledge your protection to this pool so far from home. It is a promise I made to her and one I will keep until I know she is gone. Please find her. More than best. anything else, finding her is all I care about. Can you provide us with any more information, perhaps, about beloved whereabouts, individuals that she may have known, places she might have gone to? Does she usually like to worship in seclusion? Though I'm not sure where. Uh, Thank uh, you very uh, much. Are there other bat houses that we can barge in on? I'm not aware of any others than, but this one, which I take care of. Hmm. Can I incite the water... Sure. ...person, creature, a entity? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am very good at it. It's an eight, but I'm going to use an inspiration. Go Wait. for it. Hey. It's a three. Yeah. <laughs> I believe she's telling the truth. <laughs> she seems... Yeah, maybe. Uh, she also might seem suspect. Uh, it's unclear. Mm. Uh, murky waters with you. Their waters are quite clear. Yes. Well, I believe their story, and I promise I will do what I can to help return this fellow worshipper of Sune. They smile and then just sink back into the water. There is one more thing that may help how we wish to approach this. Uh, I do think we are right in at least trying to get to the bottom of what's going on here. As a sage of Candlekeep, there are many hosts of things that are not very good aligned that could be taking advantage of people here. And it sounds like it's already happened. They did say that this ritual that they would undergo would take time and that it must be done with me alone. I don't oh. know if we wish to barge in as a group or if we should, if I should play along with the ruse while you all somehow find a way to go around. I don't know what our goal is. Uh, I'm sure there are other individuals we might question. Um, Losa, you said that you were a paladin of Sune. Are there specific parameters in which you worship? I don't know if the seclusion aspect is a particular right, or perhaps you'd be inclined towards similar things, but maybe be search the area and see if anything speaks to you? It's not a bad idea, actually, to see if there's anything that is at least familiar to Sune. We all practice in different ways, and perhaps there'll be something that speaks to me. Well, as a fellow cleric, you should understand what your fellow clerics uh, Paladin. It might be. <laughs> Paladin, I serve an order. It's a difference right. than the cleric servitude. Uh, the paladins are more violent. <laughs> we can be. You know, this reminds me of a story. I met this young paladin oh, one time. Um, also, very quickly, before we go to the next point, I want to call out 
uh, our last few donations. Uh, $100 from Sayo. Thank you, Sayo. FTK for the kids. Thank you, Sayo. Um, with the $100, you uh, can give a player, any player, an uncommon magic item. So if you're still in chat and want to let us know if there's any player you want to give an item to. And then uh, Cribbages, $10. Thank you so much, Cribbages. Uh, we are at... 410 of the $500 matching, and we're almost to $2,000, which is our second milestone. We have one more $3,000 milestone after this, so thank you, everybody. Thank you again. Adelaide reaches, well, I guess she's very naked right now. So there has been a pendant hanging from her neck. She did not take it off. It has a beautiful crystalline heart at the end of a gold clasp, just at her cleavage. She holds it up and lets it refract what little light is filtering in. And she looks at Losa. If we do not find what we seek on the ground, this can grant us true sight and perhaps might uncover mm. a bit about the proprietors. I'm, I'm not sure how polite that is to use such an item on our hosts. So perhaps we save it if we come up with no other alternative. I mean, they are evil hosts, so we can do evil back. Mm. Yeah. It's too pretty to be evil, but I, I understand uh, what you mean. Yes, I wouldn't quite word it that way. Doing, we're, you know, this is an ongoing investigation. So it may be useful for us to use such an item to see if there is any nefarious means. So yes, I think we should use it. Lovely. So... How do we want to do this? Do we want... Rav, do we want you to go in and, like, act like you're ready to make some deal with them? Hopefully you don't have to sign anything. Um, and uh, the rest of us kind of... noop around, try to find more information? Or... We just jump them? No, I'm just kidding. We, we probably shouldn't <laughs> do that. Um, <laughs> My days of jumping are behind me. <laughs> um, please. Go ahead. Mm, I, I think... I'm actually not sure what the best option is here. Well, I, I was going to say... Um, Maybe we could look around before we do anything. Yes, yeah. I guess we should probably explore the rest of the place before like. we jump to any conclusions. Maybe get more info. Good to have yeah. as much support and evidence as we can before yes. we confront them, I think. All right. And I get dressed and go back to the... Are there any other doors out of this room or just back into the hallway? Just back into the hallway, and your clothes are on the other side of this door. Right now, you guys are... This whole conversation right. has been completely in the bluff. Which is my favorite. Raw yeah, right. naked. <laughs> I, of course, uh, hold my hand out, and hopefully someone helps me out of the pool. Uh, as I kind of... <laughs> my pot belly kind of waddles, uh, and I, I, my slippers are sitting there with the robe. I put the robe back on and tuck my slippers back in, and then had to, to get dressed. Okay. Yep, get you in your robe. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, nice pink, comfy robe. Uh, so you guys yeah. all uh, get ready to head out. Uh, and as you do, uh, you go ahead and open these doors. And you see standing there is Strad von Zarevich. Uh, and what is behind this door? And as you open it, poof! Rays of sunlight from behind you burst through. <gasps> they burst into flames and they are dead. Um, and you what? hear them, oh! and that is, wow. <laughs> I told Tracy when we agreed to have the, uh, incentive for Stroud to show up, I, I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't show up in the first game. Uh, because <laughs> this is the worst possible place to have him show up. 
I, I was so it. ready for. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an awkward moment where I'll just like looking at the rem, like uh, ash dust. Oh. Uh, you see, Seth. Uh, oh, oh dear. Um, ignore <laughs> that. Please come, come in, come in. They wave you in. You guys all get dressed, and that is where we'll take our first <laughs> break. We will be right back, and when we return, uh, the party has some investigating to do. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just ten minutes. Okay, be right back. BRB. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Break. There we go. Okay, storm. I know, right? School's out for summer No more pencils No more books No more teachers to the locks School's out for summer
School's out for summer No more pencils No more books No more teachers to the locks School's out for summer School's out till <laughs> it's pretty great. Uh, okay, we are back. Uh, you guys, uh, I gave out some magic items uh, that you guys were owed from earlier. Um, oh, I can get rid of the big bad evil guy music. One moment. Uh, there we go. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. um, so he says, chat. So he says. You guys were given some magic items. Um, one moment, one moment. Uh, so, uh, B, you got a Javelin of Lightning, uh, and Tracy, you got a, uh, a Lightbringer Sword uh, Ooh, from our donations. Lovely. <laughs> Heck yeah. So uh, you guys can equip those and just attune those if you want. Um, you guys all come out of the bath. Are you all changing into your normal attire or... <laughs> Are no, we like... this place butt naked. Let's do it. You could. Yeah, you know. Uh, I mean. You know, we, we can do it Dark Souls style. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go her. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, we we probably change back. Yeah. Are my yeah. clothes clean? Everyone sounds like, so mad clean? about it. Like, everyone's like, I guess we change back into our clothes. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I put so much uh, effort maybe. into making you guys all I naked. Uh, I'm, uh, you can I'm still actually, use the naked token. I'm going to stay in my robe. I'm going to stay in the robe that's provided because it's very comfortable. <laughs> it's, it's probably no different from your AC uh, as a wizard <laughs> because you get no yeah. AC. Yeah. Um, Fair. Actually, what do you mean? Good... The breeze is wonderful in here. Mm -hmm. Plenty of good, air conditioning. Good question from B. Does our... Are ours our stuff like neatly folded and cleaned while we were in the bathhouse? Uh, no, oh. you guys had uh, locked trunks. So that also oh. means you know nothing was stolen or trifled with. All of your belongings were put. Yeah. Unless you Fair. asked for cleaning services, then you're, everything's fine as you left Fair. it. I think I did. I, I'm just filthy, so I need all my clothes <laughs> cleaned. Especially my, okay. like my socks, yeah. <laughs> uh, they let you know that they are working on washing yours, so you are still going to be in your towel then. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. 
<laughs> okay. Um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, so we have agreed that we want to interview some people or uh, question them. We could start by asking around and perhaps yes. looking about the grounds to see if there are designated places of worship or anything that Losa might feel connected to for Sune, so it might perhaps lead us to this missing cleric. And um, Rav will say, as we've gathered precariously right outside the room where they met. I'm assuming this conversation uh, isn't happening here, by the way. I'm assuming okay. this is yeah. like, <laughs> like, like you guys are like this guy's just standing there yeah. listening to us yeah. talk like, oh, yes, go ahead. <laughs> Rav will point at that door and say, that is the way that they took me into, so I suggest we find... Well, wait. What? That is the room, right? And did I see a kitchen when yes. they were talking um, with me, or am I mistaken? Yep. Uh, there is a kitchen over here. Uh, you see Ooh. the woman who uh, uh, met you. Uh, so, by the way, uh, we didn't actually formally introduce the three of them. Um, their names are uh, Azursa, Greensong, and then finally Morgana. Ooh. I wonder which one is Morgana. Gonsky. It's like my favorite <laughs> <legal> legend. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but right. you guys see uh, this kitchen. Um, it's fully stocked with whatever you'd like to eat, uh, which actually, okay. by the way, now uh, I should make sure I mention this since we're gonna be looking a lot at this map. Uh, this map was actually given to us for free uh, as a wonderful donation by Heroic Maps. Uh, they have a Patreon. You can find their content on Dungeon Masters Guild and Drive Through RPG. Uh, when they heard that we were running these two games tonight, uh, they made sure to get us uh, maps uh, for this, which was very kind of them. Uh, they didn't have to do that. We were actually working on trying to get stuff together ourselves. Uh, so. Thank you so much, Heroic Maps. Uh, this map that we're on right now for uh, The Price of Beauty, uh, which is the name of the module, you can find that on all of their accounts now. Uh, and the next map we'll be doing will be coming out soon in the future because we got to get a pretty exclusive sneak peek at it. So, uh, but yeah, just want to give a shout out to them since that was very nice of them. Thank you. Okay, um, so yeah. You guys are exploring tons of food available. Uh, there's servants right over here. Uh, you see okay. that uh, Azirsa is relaxing uh, after her workout uh, and Morgana is resting beside the fireplace. You also see a gentleman in the corner with a large mm. purple hat and a feather. Oh. Okay. So, oh. And, and was Azirsa one of the three uh, yes. women? One of the three, okay. The reddish one. So in that case, cause I, I, I got the impression when I got brought in here that it was like a private room and they were having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It, it was fairly, like, it was kind of private and like hushed tones with me. I see. Yeah, okay. like the room so in, has a few people in and out of it, but it was sort of a mm -hmm. private meeting with you, yeah. So in that case, Rav will, like, them entering the room will say, this is the kitchen, I think. We should be able to look around and snoop a little bit, just don't seem too suspicious. And, and as you I guys have gotten uh, deluxe uh, uh, services here, you guys mm -hmm. do have rooms uh, which you can go and retire into if you wish. Uh, they are just around the corner here, and there's all bedrooms on this side. Great. And Rav will point out the the two, are all three in the room now? Uh, two of them are. Two? You saw the other one head back into the kitchen. You can see okay. Morty, the dog, uh, just through the kitchen door. Got it. So yeah, Rav will point them out and then um, just kind of let everyone else get their read of the area. Yeah, you think to yourself, you know, whatever whatever these people are up to, it's just so sad that that poor dog has to be wrapped up into it, you know? Because <laughs> um, you know that dog's a good boy, so. Such yeah. a good boy. And I, yeah, I, the last, absolute last thing I say is, and they do have a dog and it is perhaps the best boy. <laughs> Magnifique. Anyway. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, so I would like to call dibs on uh, that person over there with the hat and the feather. Of course. <laughs> You're like, she'll just saying that like to the team as well. So like, and then <laughs> if we get thumbs up all around, I'll start like uh, sauntering my way over. And may I help you? Oh, oui, bonjour. Uh, my name is Shield and uh, I have a room 
that is like exclusive. You want to go check it out? Make a performance or persuasion check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> performance or persuasion, your choice. Uh, it'll be a persuasion because there's gonna be so much disappointment. We're gonna get there. Are, are gonna... you? Are you like? Because you're in a towel still. Because your clothes are yep. being cleaned. <laughs> are you like, <laughs> leaning into this with any physique or anything wow. like that? Oh, what's my int? Uh, mm, not intentionally. Okay. All right. That's fine. Just make then so, persuasion or performance. Okay, we're gonna do persuasion because I am bad at it. How do I roll that? Oh, and I believe we hit our next goal. I have to update it. We did! Oh my gosh, Brito, uh, with $38 to have us hit our $2,000 goal. Thank you so much, Brito. We have now hit $2,000, so Hannah will be running a game for us sometime in the future. And. Our next goal is $3,000. We're almost to our match. So if we hit our match, we'll hit $3,000. So that's wild. Yep, just refreshing uh, amazing. that real quick. Awesome. There we go. Um, uh, so what was your persuasion or performance? Uh, I got a five minus one, so a four. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you, you do not look like my type. Oh, is it the towel? Mm. I could take the towel. I am not a fan of the stash. What can I say? <gasps> oh. 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 You did not. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry for bothering you. If you, you have I'm such sprinting. a big nose, uh, why would you underline it? I just, <gasps> I'm so, so proud of... I, I, I think I, my feelings are earth. Go away um, now. And like a tear will roll oh. down as Shield turns back and faces the party. Just rolling down. My my pride has been stabbed. Oh. My heart is hurt. Hey, thanks for the raid. Welcome in everybody. Welcome. <laughs> you come right in at a rejection a moment <laughs> for our poor shield rejection and insult poor shield has never uh, faced that that insult by the way is one that my dad got because we have uh, a very big nose run in our family and he used that <laughs> mustache and someone wow. said that to him and it's just that <laughs> oh good my oh my god oh my god damn so I assume it didn't go that well too uh, no no it did not could somebody so please sorry. assist, or just tell me my mustache is uh, Your mustache is lovely. Don't don't give it any mind. Quite. Oh. I was going to ask you what balm you use. I just use coconut oil. Oh. It's so good. Yeah, that works for my scales as well. Oh, that's so nice. It's it's quite moisturizing. Yes. Ah, many purposes. They're dangerous if they if they hit your head, though. Coconuts. Yes. That is, yes. uh, that is true. Um, well, now that I'm over being sad, I'm angry. Um, do you see if I have anything. Do you want me to take over for you? Uh, would you? Of course. Uh, are you persuasive? I mean, you convinced Incredibly. me to get a job at the library. Ah. <laughs> you will be you excellent. You have to be coming from long lines of Nobogalas, uh, different sorts of political parties, and... Oh. Or keeping your mouth shut, the smile on your face. I think I that makes do... me well enough equipped. You will be excellent. I cannot do any of that. Best of luck. Perfect. Then she's going to soldier right on over there. She has a little bit more purpose to her footsteps and seems to, to the be same individual. back to the same individual. <laughs> there is more confidence and almost almost a little determination because this individual was not very nice to shield yeah this person by the way uh, uh, as the uh, image shows is a drow with a eye patch and very flamboyant <laughs> form of dress uh, and a rapier know, at right? their side <laughs> yeah. he's not discreet at all mm -mm. <laughs> Sorry. So she strides over, regal bearing. 
Do you have a moment? For a uh, madam such as yourself, of course. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you very much. She sits down in the chair that is to her right. Um, everything about every movement is graceful and refined and well-practiced. Give me a performance or a persuasion check, your choice. Persuasion, for sure, for sure. Sure, for sure. Whoop, shit, that one went to the floor, different one. That is a 12. Six plus six for a 12. Uh, you, have you, know, you, are, you sit down. What, what is it you're trying to make happen oh, yeah. here? What did you say? Um, She sits down very briefly. She asks if you had a moment. How oh, have you been enjoying the temple so far? It has uh, been wonderful, of course. I have uh, simply come here for my many travels from Luskin uh, with my brand. Uh, you may know them as Bregendorf. I, I dare say I have heard of them before. Have you been here often? Uh, this is my first time coming in. I do not know if perhaps I will stay. Oh. So you're not taking up any of the services or just passing through? I am uh, perusing, uh, considering whether this place is worth my coin and the privilege of my presence. Well... She leans forward a little bit, a little conspiratorially, sifting one elbow onto the table and resting her chin in an upturned palm. Between the two of us, the pool is absolutely lovely. I dare say it's taken almost 50 years off the weathering of my skin, and it's so well cared for in the first place. Mm. It's been well worth every coin. Perhaps I will check this out. Uh, would you like to go and join me there? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we're going to make uh, a will save. <laughs> for you or for Adeline? <laughs> <laughs> Why not both? Why not both? <laughs> she rolled an eight. Perhaps, perhaps we can talk a little bit more in the bath. Yes, I think that would be nice. Please lead the way. She stands and gestures with a hand outstretched towards the door that leads back out to the bath. If this individual decides to go along with her. Mm -hmm. She um, explains the process of exchanging your clothes, going into the dressing room, what they provide, uh, the different aspects of dress you can choose to enter the pool. And they see this poor, poor little struck librarian walking out <laughs> with the <laughs> strout and the back to the pool. I like wave feebly at you. Uh, as you guys get well. to the front desk, <laughs> uh, this person reaches. Ah, uh, pity me, I seem to have forgotten my coin post. Do you think perhaps you can spot me? The worst. Oh, of course. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. She says completely innocently. <laughs> Naive. Uh, to a <laughs> Great. The two of you go off uh, and go back into the bath. Well, is there any further goal other than enjoying your time? She is intelligent enough to continue mm -hmm. asking questions and maybe anything about Sune, anything. I know this is his first time in the area, but maybe anything he's heard about this particular cleric or maybe places that might be nice to worship. She's trying her best here. Mm -hmm. She really is. Okay, we will come back to uh, this romantic interlude in a moment. What are the rest of you all doing? Uh, Shield, I, I don't know if you were perhaps expecting them to go over there and set this person straight and then they just yeah. leave with them. Another tear <laughs> <laughs> falls down. Am I, am I the joke of a, a butt? A butt of a joke? Uh, 
You are that, not a joke. Th that that hatted uh, individual was inferior compared to uh, I. Maybe she's just going to question him more. Wait, no, that's that that is the one for sure. Yes. He wasn't doing an accent that sounded like me because you know he was jealous. That's that's all. Definitely or, jealous. Do we see like, other um, doors out of this? room is there something yeah. to the north uh to the north yeah. there are two doors that lead uh upward uh into uh one moment one moment dur, 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 dur. that would be the um that is there's treatment rooms this is where you can get waxed uh or shaved or massaged uh things like that and then to the right are uh, a hallway that lead to the various bedrooms if you wish to rest you know, regain your energy a little bit, things like that. There was a kitchen that we could enter, though, still, correct? Uh, you guys are sort of in the kitchen. This is like the mm. like a dining area. There's a bar. There's wait staff. Um, shield, you are still in just a towel. Uh, up to you guys <laughs> what you guys would like to do. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, someone could uh, investigate the wait staff. Ask them. They, they hear everything. Hmm. I That's have a feeling idea. that um, that we won't get the three hosts together unless we ask them to do the ritual. Though, if we find out that they are up to ill, perhaps it is best that they are separate. But, yes, I suppose we can ask around. Uh, Itrich will uh, kind of uh, walk to the table that they were at previously and kind of walk uh, towards the right side of the chair and then like put his hand on the back. And as he does, he kind of points a finger towards Los and uh, will cast message. Uh, perhaps maybe with both of them uh, in the chairs right there, you could uh, uh, divine what kind of path they walk. That is uh, cleric ability, yes. Uh, paladin, yes. Uh... I will, um, I will in fact do that, actually. I will, um, use my divine sins. And then I, then I sit down with like a big exhale, like it was a lot of work for me to walk over there. <laughs> <sighs> sit back in, uh, in the, in, in Jarlaxle's chair. Um, oh, <laughs> it's so warm. <laughs> <laughs> Loza, what would you um, like to do? Divine sense. What can um, I detect? Well, what does it say that that tells you? Uh, I can sense anything uh, affected by the hollow spell or know any location of any celestial fiend, undead, within 60 feet. That is Celestial not fiend or undead? Yes. There is a fiend present here. Oh. oh. Um... Does it like tell me? Do, I, I'll yeah. pray to Suni. Suni, Don't day. I will Don't clasp. Day I will clasp my uh, amulet. Suni, show me. Show me where the fiend is. You can make a religion check, or you can make a insight check. Let's see, religion. Ooh boy. Um. I rolled a 16. Okay. I think um, I might use an advantage. You right, pray and you, for a moment, you feel, you feel your heart tug in a direction in particular, and you just start walking, and you guys watch as Loza just walks out of the room. Oh. Heading south. <laughs> and leaves. I'm just... I'm out. Uh, two people could, down. Yeah, three I remain. Like, <laughs> well, I thought we were supposed to be. What is. All right. <laughs> two down, three fun. to go. Sir, okay, your clothes um, are ready. If you would like to come with me, I can get you changed. Oh, we. Oui. Okay, this is finally good. I can get out of this towel. It's, it's getting a little. Um, uh, it smells like wet towel. Yes, of course. Right with me, please. And she asks yes. you to follow them. Okay. Oh, God. I'll follow. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, <no. laughs> 
uh, they are going, Rav, uh, I just leave you and uh, uh, Kittrich here. <sighs> and so, yeah, one of the three elf, elven women just took shield? Yes. Okay. Can I shoot a look to shield as they leave? Like, be careful, please. Sort I'll, of like, thing. thumbs up and, like, point at my nakedness and be like, yeah, like, I'm getting close. Okay. <laughs> 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 and um, yeah shield you are brought just around the corner uh, where they have someone who is ready with your clean clothes another servant I couldn't help but notice the, uh, uh, I couldn't help but notice uh, the, what that person said to you uh, you are the insult <sighs> dreadfully sorry we don't expect that kind of behavior here. We're terribly sorry that they would call such a glaring remark about your obviously hideous features. Uh, 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 my features? Your features, you of course, of course. Uh, your features are, are, are uh, nothing to make fun of or joke about. We would never expect that from our clients. But... Could I expect that from you? No, we would never comment on how big it is. Oh, uh, uh, so, can I write a, a negative review somewhere? <laughs> or perhaps I can <laughs> speak We're to you. We're yelling you. Oh, you. You mostly are troubling me. You are probably a creature of evil. Not that I'm supposed to know that, but you are definitely... Oh, uh, you're so accusing me <laughs> of being evil. Uh, yes. I'm not the one walking around with horns and and whatever that is on your face. Uh, these, these do not constitute evil. Evil is trapping people in, like, year-long contracts that you cannot get I, out I was of just and... trying to help. If you would like, we have ways of improving people's appearance. And the consequence of that is you take their souls, you take their... Of Do course you know not. Are? We just asked for a gift or a favor. Uh, if only I had written down the name of the cleric that I was thinking of. Have you heard the name? Um, hmm. Celine. Uh, make it. So, so are you forgetting, or is the character forgetting? Both. Uh, <laughs> make an intelligence check to see if you remember. <laughs> no. Dead and put mm, but, points into mm -hmm. that. Yo, I was not expecting her to come with the heat like that. Just, yes. I, I walked so shield could fly. Like this is great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flat fifteen. Hey, good for you. I think a flat fifteen. Uh, you you remember the name uh, and the uh, um, the name is uh, Silvari. Silvari. Uh, Silvari, they might be a cleric? Mm, mm. I think... I will they... withhold my, my Yelp review if you tell me. Place a <laughs> hand on you, and I would like you to make uh, a wisdom saving oh. throw. Oh lordy. And so it begins. <laughs> and... Ten. You are stricken with intense fear as they lean up to you. Who told you that name? And their hands are like on your shoulder, their nails touching tightly against your neck. Oh. Uh, is, is, uh, is the water? The water spoke me. Oh. The water spoke to you. Um, I, I, I think I, I, I bet I've drunk a, a little bit of it. Um, you know, it's when you drink the water, sometimes it talks to your indigestion. You seem tired, confused. Don't you think you should get some sleep? Wait, wait, absolutely, absolutely. I just make um, another I... wisdom saving throw. Ah! <laughs> oh, so it no. ends. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great. It is. Uh, Eleven. <laughs> We're going up. You are yeah, we under are. the effects of the suggestion spell. 
And so you promptly turn around, open up the door, go to your bed to go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> with that, uh, Loza, you have... Well, let me just put you in your bedroom. There you are. <laughs> okay, bedroom. It's very nice. Uh, there's a trunk in it for your stuff. The bed. And nice. you, you just lay down and like lights out just go to sleep <laughs> um uh we'll come back to you uh when appropriate loza you march out and the only person you're able to find is safe at the front desk hmm interesting hello there oh hello madam how may i help you um would we when we arrived, we didn't have to sign anything, um, like any forms or anything. We we just paid the package and came in, right? Of course. Right, right. Just making sure. Um, you are just a receptionist. I'm just a this... receptionist. Of course. Yes. Is there something you need help about? Um, I'm curious about. I'm curious about this place and how it all came to be, this business. How did you get hired? Well, I came here looking for work and I ran into an old friend of mine, Morgana. You might have seen her in the other room. Mm, She's, yes. uh, we're old friends, you might say. Hmm. Old friends. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, now you have this lovely job. Yes, that is how it works. Yes. Well. Loza's gonna move in closer. Put her hands on the desk and look at him in the eyes. You. Where are you from? Make a intimidation check. Yes. Uh, ooh, I'm going to use one of my inspirations because um, I rolled a five. Um, let's go. Uh, that's a, oh, my dice in the way. Twelve. Twelve. You, um, you lean across the desk. Where are you from? Oh, I'm from uh, Neverwinter. Neverwinter, huh? If you were to swear under oath, Zone of Truth. <laughs> oh, you're casting Zone of Truth. <laughs> Being dramatic. Uh, yes, if you were. Uh, are you, are you really casting Zone of Truth? <laughs> um. Yeah. You know okay. what? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, you can't I handle believe... the truth. <laughs> uh, one moment. What's the uh, saving throw for uh, that? Doo -doo 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 uh, that is until the spell ends. Uh, creature that enters spell. Uh, charisma saving throw. What is the DC? Uh, 14. Okay, one moment. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's gonna be... Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, yes, I am from Neverwinter. Mm. And how and why is it that we've heard rumors of people going missing in this fine establishment good sir I haven't a clue now as they say this you realize they've beaten your spell with Zone mm. of Truth, you can tell when they've made the check. Okay. And uh. you can tell that they are able to freely lie. But he leans forward and says to you, Though, you know, I have wondered what they keep up in that tower out back. Power. Interesting. I'm sure it's just towels and linens and extra things, of course, right? Surely. Hmm. Well. 
Thank you for your time. And thank you, madam. Please come back if you have any other questions. Yes. I was just going to walk backwards while staring at As him. you walk back, <laughs> uh, you see uh, as, uh, as Zirsa uh, is like gazing at you, just sort of like watching you move across the room as you enter. Uh, Raz, uh, you and uh, Kittrich, what have you guys been up to during all of this? Uh, well, I will say that, uh, when she leaves and like, I had sat down already previously, uh, and then like, he kind of like does that and is probably like, surveying the room and, uh, Raz, as you, you kind of like, Raz, as you look back, uh, Kittritz has fallen asleep in the chair. He's just kind of nodded off and his like head's bowed and he's just kind of lightly snoring a little bit. And so we fall one by one. <laughs> hmm. I think with Citrich asleep, with um, Adelaide gone to the back to the bath, Loso outside, and I think it that Rav would be most concerned about Shield, or at the very least, like seeing what's going on there. Mm -hmm. So I think after a little bit of time, Rav would turn the corner and just start walking to look around. Okay, yeah, you go looking around for them. Um... You, uh, but, uh, you know, I a, think go he go he goes to leave, and then right as he reaches the corner, he looks back at Citrich, and he's like, uh, "I should not go alone." <laughs> and I will go back, and I will uh, lightly tap him on the head. Uh, uh, unhand me! Uh, oh, 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 oh! oh. Hey, uh, what's, what's happening? We need happening? to find our friends, Citrich. Uh, Are you, um, rejuvenated? Oh, uh, quite, yes. Uh, uh, help me up. We'll, we'll find them together. I hold out a stocky, uh, arm that's still recovering from a workout session earlier. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of hobble follow him, still in my, my robe and, and slippers, uh, just kind of... <laughs> Casually, uh, just follow him looking around. <laughs> I will, uh, Rav will put his hands on Citrich's soldiers, like a, a dad walking his, his toddler son, you know, just like, you know, dad vibe. Yeah, wad uh, waddling with them. Yeah, got it. Yeah. You know, this reminds me of a time I was lost in the woods. I, I couldn't die for story. days. Just, uh, just be quiet. Uh, oh, right. Oh, is this, oh, we're being sneaky. Yes. Oh, uh, back in the Xanathar guild. Uh, we were very sneaky. We had to sneak around in the, the different hallways. You didn't want to make the boss mad. Um, uh, oh, look, there's a door here. We should, uh, uh, you think? I, I'm just going to go to the first a, door and uh, knock. investigation check uh, at disadvantage. Uh, really? Of course. And uh, I'm just going to go to that door to the south and just knock on the door. Uh, uh, yep. Yes. The only two numbers that my dice can roll, and it's a one. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you uh, Citrich is knocking on doors, uh, disrupting other customers, uh, who are sleeping. Uh, you're sort of like fumbling around, unsure. Uh, you guys have your room numbers. You do not get shields before they depart it. Okay. Well, given that then though, mm -hmm. uh, Rav is, is there any sign of, um, of Morgana, the woman that took shield back here? Um, you don't see them here. Um, looking around, these are all rooms down this hallway. Uh, the only place you guys haven't explored where she might be is in the, um, the service mm -hmm. rooms, like the, where you can get a massage or a shave and stuff like that. Okay, I, I think Rav would, would give a light wrap on whatever doors are, we know that aren't our rooms in the hopes of finding shield eventually. Okay. Uh, it takes a while. You uh, bother uh, quite a few other guests. You also run into a uh, a kobold who is whoop uh, a blue kobold who is trying to maintenance some locks, uh, and you startle the hell out of them. Uh, but they uh, they quickly sorry sorry and they skitter off kind of nervously. Can, can we catch them before they skitter off? Uh, uh, Ravel, wait, wait. What 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 is it? Let me just move them closer I, to you. Burp, burp, burp. 
There we go. I turn to Stetrich and I say, I um I have a missive from the ladies of the house. Uh, what? Break a deception check, please. All right. Pretty good. Uh, what? How? It keeps happening. Oh. You guys see this? I rolled a nat one last time. I just got a 19. That was the only Oh, you got a 19. Oh, nice. Yeah, I thought 20, I was like, 22 oh, no. total. No, it's just back and forth every what, time. What, yes. what is it? What, what do they want? They say that it is time for one of the rituals to begin. You know how that proceeds, yes? Yes, I do. You won't seem so dreary about it. Is everything all right? What do they want from me? Mm. What, uh, what did they want from the last individual? Make a... Well, how are you trying to get this information out of them? Uh, Ravel, Ravel add on to that mm -hmm. and, and say, we have also been hired on, my friend. What? What is your name, Cobalt? I... Glitter. You can call me Glitter. Glitter. We okay. share a, a kindred, you and I. No distance. I have been put under the same servitude as you, it seems. Perhaps we can help each other. Listen to me. He looks around first to make sure, grabs you by the collar, even though he's like way smaller <laughs> than you. Grabs you. Oh. Listen to me. You you break the curse. And you will gain a powerful ally in Waterdeep. And, and 500 gold as soon as as, uh, as soon as I can return to the city. Break the curse. Please. How? How? I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, we will need your help. We are going to try. But if you could linger nearby us, perhaps, if um, things get dire, mm -hmm. maybe lock some doors, unlock some doors, as you see fit. Yes. I can unlock doors, yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, one thing, uh, is there any place that's off limits to you, that you and others like us cannot go? Uh, yes. The shrine. Ooh. They don't let anyone go in the shrine. And where is the shrine? Sell it back. Beside the tower. Oh, I see. Very good, Butter. Stay close to us if you can, doing your repairs. Uh, okay. I wish to see you survive this as well as I. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. All right, and we'll uh, we'll continue our search for Shield. Okay, um, uh, you eventually do find Shield is asleep in this bed. Oh, he's <laughs> sleeping on the job. I tell you, it's very hard to find good help. I woke you up. I've already done my due. I was not sleeping. I was oh. merely resting my eyes. Loza, you I was come in across contemplation. Them, uh, in the middle of this discussion, returning from your conversation with Safe. The tower. I think we have to go to the tower. Oh, no. oh, oh. you're all right. Uh, yes. Did you find the fiend? I think it's the receptionist at the front. Um, our new friend here, Glitter, has also told us about this tower. So, hmm. um, Perhaps we go there. I, I cannot go there with you. I have to stay here. They expect me to clean things and fix locks. It is fine. If, um, if there is a moment that you think you can help us in the coming time, then do that. But do I will do this, my friend. Stuff. Yes. I'll go to wake up shield. Okay. 
And uh, while while he does that, I'm just gonna um, probably lowly tell Los what he said that there's a curse that he's under a curse and that the shrine is in the tower. Should beside the tower. Shrine. It's beside the tower. Well, beside the tower. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Beside the tower. Okay. okay. I think the shrine might be. If you have a connection, that might be a good place. Also, yes. the uh, litter seemed like. Like he was, a, he had mentioned a, being a powerful ally in Waterdeep and lots of gold, but uh, uh, oh, frankly put, uh, oh, you're awake, Shield. Uh, wonderful. Yes, you should really not sleep that. on the job. It's very important what we're doing. It, it felt right. It felt, mm. it probably actually felt good. I long for the sheets and the slumber quietness mm. of, anyway, um, right. <laughs> Uh, uh, something is not right with the uh, litter. I don't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but the uh, person being of, of his stature here, just working as a locksmith, being of power and wealth and water deep, uh, something is amiss, I think. Mm. That, or he was lying. Yes. It could be dangerous. So we should go proceed with caution. It may even be a trap, as uh, the uh, the fiend in the front desk kind of made it seem like he maybe wanted me to go there, and that could be suspicious. So mm -hmm. we should be on our utmost guard. Uh, it is worth mentioning that uh, Morgana um, was rude and hurt my feelings. Uh, mm. I like that's the first thing that comes up. <laughs> Rude and hurt my feelings. <laughs> more or less than the dark elf. Oh, more. more. Oh. Mm. Well, it's strong in was... body, but not in emotion. Uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, speaking of Earth's feelings, perhaps we should find where ally is, so their feelings are yes. no longer Earth, what that mean? Elf. We should probably get our studious elven friend before we proceed forward. Yes. <clears throat> Didn't she say earlier about having something that allowed her to uh, true, uh, yes. truly see? Oh, I think yeah. I think that yes. there is many a, a thing that is not what it seems, and perhaps that would be Indeed. very useful. If there is a fiend, the are terrible. So, yes. perhaps the hosts aren't what they seem. I, th I think we need to find her. Indubitably. And um, we do. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys go off to do so. Uh, uh, Adelis, uh, you are trying to coax uh, your new friend, Jarlaxle Bainry, into the water. Um, uh, and you've been talking to them, asking them questions this whole time, and sort of, it's been of a flirty nature. Uh, you're also trying to gain information, so I'd like you to make your choice. Uh, it's either investigation at advantage, because you've been spending a lot of time talking to them, or if you've been distracted, it's investigation at disadvantage. I, I think I um, should be honest, and she's probably distracted. Fair enough. So. Uh, one moment. Um, <laughs> uh, you probably oh, are no. distracted. Give me just one moment. <gasps> I have to do something <laughs> that. Are they uh, oh, like no. a swimsuit? Are they going to be like a, a robe? I get them, <gasps> to them in like a one piece, piece bathing suit, maybe. I'm just frantically photoshopping Where's... something. One moment. Where's. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Where's the I naked Jarlaxle token? Uh, well, that's, that's yeah. what I'm photoshopping. One moment. It <laughs> doesn't come with the D&D &D starter set? It does not, <laughs> uh, sadly. Uh, the that's pride. in my mind. It's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> it's a... If only, if only they made it so easy for us um, DMs. Oh, and I realize uh, I didn't call out the most recent donation that we got. Oh, please do. Um, $75 from uh, Fire Every. Thank you so much. Oh, but there's instructions in this one. Um, party rolls 1d20, George rolls 1d20 with advantage, Hyrule gets the nat 20. Oh, lordy. Um, uh, how much was the donation for? It was 75. Okay, 
no more requests like that. We will absolutely do it this time. <laughs> I'm happy to do that. Uh, but please, no more requests like that. It can slow down the game quite a bit. Um, but I will go ahead and yes. roll at advantage. D20. I forgot how to do this. I will Ooh, do it in... Ooh, nine is my highest. I did it in Twitch chat, and we rolled a 13. 13. So, so we you get guys win. We do. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so who gets it? Uh, it? Yes. Whomever we feel needs it at some point, we'll just yell out. <laughs> Nat 20. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the image I never thought we would have. Um, as uh, sorry, you I'm are beautiful. enjoying the uh, the bath uh, with Jarlaxle. Uh, and uh, the uh, you can just use your imagination for how it's going. Um, mm. They're talking to you. You're not getting a lot of information. They, they love telling you about their journeys and everything. You know, perhaps I can go make sure we get a room uh, with just you and me and a bottle of wine. That sounds absolutely lovely, but, but before we start out on that little adventure, I do have to take care of another one. Do you perhaps want to come along? I have to check. Do you mind if I step out for a quick moment and check with one of my compatriots in Bregan Darth? Of course. Uh, one oh, moment. I'll be right back, my spirit. Oh my God. Uh, you can make an investigation check I'm at so uh, disadvantage, by the way, because of how. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the first roll was an 11. <laughs> Second roll was another six. So, um, eight and 13, eight. I am going to use my advantage. Give me one moment. Um, burr, 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 burr. So, so what would you say? Oh, yours was an eight. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, they just step out for a quick moment. You are waiting for them to come back. Um, and while that's happening, you're there. Uh, eventually, uh, as you're waiting there, um, the rest of the gang, you guys show up. You find Adelaide Adel uh, swimming in the pool naked again. <laughs> She's uh, reclined alone. back on some steps with her um, elbows resting on the tier behind her, and she just waggles some fingers. Did you find anything? Bonjour. Um, we've we found a lead, at least. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I think you lost no some <laughs> I, he said he'd be right back, and uh, he may help. He is the worst. He was rather rude to you. I haven't yet been able to make him apologize, but it's on my list of things to do. Mm, okay, merci. It is important. It is very important. It's very unkind to make fun of others' appearances. Um, during all of this, uh, you guys noticed when you came in, you did not see this gentleman leaving. <laughs> I was wondering. Oh, um, I think like Shield's gonna like turn. She's convinced. <laughs> to probably everybody except for Setrich. Um, uh, do, do we think that she has been abandoned? How they say ghosted? I'm gonna not turn too. I did not see him. That does happen from time to time. I've seen it in my many traverses of of love and sadly this may not be true love well oh, i think not. Um, time is of the essence perhaps we oh, should yes we we should um adelaide perhaps you should get changed quickly we cannot wait for anybody else should i leave a note I yes Right, that he is rude. <laughs> we, we will get to that. We will get to that. Do you do you want me to help? To leave a note? Do you have parchment? Uh, yes, of course. And I just flick my wrist, and then you see this magical quill just pop up and float <laughs> next to me. <gasps> Absolutely wonderful. Could right. you tell him? Has the group communicated what we're about to go do? Yeah, oh, no. sure. 
uh, all of that happens is you have them write this long note um, and uh, you go back to get changed um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. except you know funny thing um, all your belongings are gone oh lordy did Jaro Axel and I share a changing room? No, um, but he must have swiped your key. He did leave behind a hat, which you pick up and Ooh. find is a very cheap, flimsy hat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she holds it up, turns it in her hands, and sets it back down. Well, I... I'm sure he just went to go and get our things laundered. I'm <laughs> sure it will be back nicely folded in, in just a bit. Um, is there a robe in the room? You can get a robe, yes. Um, uh, whoop, that's not what, there we go. You now have a robe. Um, the, uh, it is at this time I must inform everybody uh, that that was not Jarl Axel Bainery. Uh, that man was just somebody pretending to be that to get here and get a discount uh, in this establishment. Uh, the book specifically states that if you have ever met Jarl Axel Bainery, you would be able to identify this imposter very quickly. Uh, wow. And I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, you know, as he, he, he played a similar game, not quite as well, uh, but you found yourself fleeced, unfortunately. She's been catfished. Yeah. Wow. Mm. The important thing is, do you still have your necklace? I do. He's just run off to do the laundry. I'm sure he'll be right back. Did you leave him my note? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, you Would want you? me to leave it here with the hat? Yes, I do think that's best. He will probably need it again. Incredible. Wonderful. Um, uh, I want to be the last one. I was like, <laughs> take the hat and then eat the note. <laughs> <laughs> you punch a hole through the hat, you know, just like. <laughs> oh, the worst. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, wonderful. Uh, uh, wonderful role play. Um, uh, with that, uh, what are you guys doing next? Heading outside? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, there's the shrine next to the tower, and then yeah, the tower. to the shrine, and then the tower. But I, I, I did, I did mention uh, potentially utilizing that gem of true seeing to maybe do a pass mm-hmm. through oh, the certainly. entire establishment to see Fire. if maybe yeah, people aren't what with, they um, seem. The guy at the front desk. Uh, who is doing that? Oh, well, I think she has the gem, so I would assume her. Okay, mm-hmm. Adelaide. So as you pass it. by. You do see the man at the front desk is actually a uh, Cambian, a particular neutral fiend, uh, possibly from the Nine Hells or the Abyss. Um, whoever's walking closest to her, she has to hold it up over her eye. So she's pulled the chain up and has a little heart-shaped gem over her eye, and she just very stage whispers. He looks like... And she just keeps on walking <laughs> her little gem up to her eye, taking um, stock of whatever else is a hiding in wait for us. As you enter this room, uh, give me one moment. You actually see the three sisters are all gathered around the bar um, and they're conversing with each other uh, rather in uh, somewhat upset tones. Uh, what you see before you is rather an unsettling sight, to be honest. Because um, what you see, uh, what the rest of you see is this. Uh, two servant staffs waiting by patiently uh, as Morgana, Greensong, and as Azir, uh, uh, Azirsa talk back and forth. Um, but what you see is their true forms. Hmm... Wretched oh. hags talking back and forth, God. conversing. Uh, to give you a full description, uh, one moment, one moment. Uh, sh- uh, sh- Should have known. Really <laughs> um, Should have known. 
so excited for this description. Yeah, you know, yeah, oh, they were God. closed. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Morgan, uh, Morgana, uh, in God her true it. form appears as a thin, pale creature whose long, matted black hair is festooned with ornaments made of bones and teeth. Her mouth curves up unnaturally high at the corners, and her blood-red lips are covered in blisters and boils. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Azirsa, uh, you see her is a hunched human figure with one arm larger than the other. Uh, the other one's sort of like withered. She has cat-like eyes and rust-covered, rust-colored red hair covers her back, head, and arms. And she has sharp fangs causing her to slur when she speaks. And she hisses and screeches when threatened. Damn. And then finally, the uh, 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 green song uh, looks to be a shriveled and worn uh, woman. Her dark green skin covered in bark and fungus. Insects crawl across her and hide in a thick braid of white hair that curls around her shoulders like a serpent. Um, Beautiful. Love. I need you to make a... Wisdom saving throw first. Now, because she has some experience with the Fey Wild and hags are, oh, oh, are yeah, you know what? Fey. Yes, you have advantage at this. Um, and does she know these for what they are? Like, can I identify them as their particular types? Immediately, of hags? you know. I mean, they are just all uh, hags. Um, like, um, they're they You would know. Well, roll your wisdom save first. Okay. Mm -hmm. At advantage. Ooh. So 15 plus 4 are 19 for the first mm -hmm. one. Oh, and a fumble for the second one. Okay, that's fine. Hey, um, you are able to <laughs> not immediately react in like horror or shock or gasp. You recognize them as being green hags. Uh, you also see that their two servants are actually scarecrows. Um, that simply have uh, some type of magic on them to seem human. Mm. Um, now I need you to roll a deception check. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, <gasps> it's not 20. Okay. Ooh, so Ooh. You plus six, you that's 26. And you even waved him. Hi, this wonderful place you have here. And you just... Ah, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> That's actually you. You would still hear. Oh yes, thank you for stopping by. But the face looks twisted, and they they look like they just want you to suffer and die. But uh, you know, very pleasant. And you walk by, the rest of the gang unaware uh, of any of this uh, unsightly image. Oh, so we finally get to a point that's safe. <laughs> um, she will turn around and lean in. So it turns out that they're all actually hags, um, which is a type of fae, which is very interesting, but it's also rather distressing given what we Oops. know the situation. Oh. Um, distressing yes. at the very least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. What? Great. What are Good. our options? Like, do we fight them? Do we talk? Uh, do you run? Probably not. We might want to go investigate the tower, and potentially the shrine. Maybe if we search, if, I don't know if the cleric's still here, but it might give us some more clues or perhaps something we can use against them. I did ask. Uh, and uh, the response was rage, it was anger. Uh, so um, perhaps I have an idea. Oh no, uh, uh, well, it's a shell of an idea, but uh, perhaps uh, our friend Glitter, if you could uh, look at look at him, he'd said he was oh, cursed. Of course, of course, please lead the way. Uh, uh, you nice. looking around, uh, you do look for glitter. Give me one moment. Um, uh, you don't have a full conversation with them or anything, but you do see them briefly. Um, and what you see is, uh, a tiefling, 
a blue tiefling. They look to be in uh, finer garments. They look like they might be the head of a guild. Hmm. She hmm. describes what she sees and adds that oh. they're rather fetching. Hmm. That is what okay. I thought. I think everyone that is here, any yes. creature is not what they seem. Yes. Because mm. the curse. Curses yes. do that. Yes. Okay. Right. Hmm. Wizard. Yes. Thought you were a cleric. Uh... No, you are the cleric. Uh... <laughs> Um, yeah. perhaps the shrine or the, the place next to yes. the shrine is definitely... we can break the curse yeah. we'll start with the shrine and then go to the tower I suppose yes well, the shrine is next to the tower or yes yeah Wait, absolutely we'll mama. Bon, bon. okay uh, you guys quickly head outside uh, hoping oh, to oh. find more information uh, as you do uh, just gonna move ahead a little bit uh ba -ba 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 -ba. That brings you here. Strahd. You see there's the tower to the right, <laughs> or there's the shrine to the left. The shrine, uh, immediately, Loza, you can recognize it as a shrine that used to belong to Sune. But it um, looks like it's in disrepair. Oh, no. I'll just take a quick look over it and see what the damage is and kind of try to figure out what happened to this place. Inside... Uh, there are, uh, give me one moment. That is, um, the crumbling stone building must have once been a beautiful shrine engraved with images of Sune that are still visible on the moss covered stones. Uh, her face gazing down the path by which the faithful would have approached stone doors at the front of the shrine appear to be sealed shut with some sort of thick resin. A faint inscription is still visible above them. Welcome, dearest ones. Come find the beauty within you. Hmm. They've absolutely desecrated this temple to Sune, or shrine to Sune. Hmm. Inside, terrible. the interior appears to have been abandoned after some sort of terrible confrontation years ago. Broken benches with shredded cushions are overgrown by thick fungi and four large mirrors hang on the walls, have all been shattered, leaving the stone floor covered in shards of broken glass. Mm. Mm. Perhaps uh, it might be a good time. And once again, he'll, he'll kind of, his old arm kind of shakes as he like waves it across his face, and I'm going to cast a tech magic again. Mm. Nice. Just to, since we're, you know, it's been a while, I doubt it's still going from previously, so... Mm -hmm. Just to see if I see anything that is, you know, magical. There does not that's... appear to be any magic on the building or the doors. Uh, the 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 substance, whatever it is that's sealing the doors, seems to be uh, uh, merely uh, some kind of like glue or something like that. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> Maybe we should just go to the tower then and see if there's anything. It just seems they've just ransacked this place. Such mm. so horrible. I, I want to suggest, and do not um, think too much of this suggestion, but we traveled here with a mirror, and there are mirrors on the ground. Uh, maybe there is some kind of connection, or maybe just, you know, mirrors uh, are a thing that are around. Yes. Mirrors are a important symbol to Sune. They are. Uh, I wish I had some way to repair them. Mm. You also see, by the way, at the back of the shrine is stairs leading up. There must be some kind of room above this, but... Mm. I could probably repair some of the smaller mirrors with a spell, if you'd like, if that's helpful. It might be, yes. Yeah, your god might be like, thank you for helping my mirrors. Yes. <laughs> so, um... um oh, go ahead. As they're walking around, she'll just use the mending can trip on hmm. whatever will react well, well to first that the question is do you guys want to enter the shrine yeah. right now yes. the doors are sealed with yeah. this kind of glue oh i mean I can yes kick the door open sure whoever wants to try give me an athletics check um i will turn to uh lows uh if i fail yes you can kick the door because oof, i sh great i shall 
I do. <laughs> uh, we said athletics? Yep. Perhaps we do it together. Oh, uh, nine. I... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, shield, you, like, kick it. <gasps> and, you, like, bounce back and, like, maybe sprained it. Like, pulled something, maybe? <laughs> oh, my two muscles. <laughs> uh, let me try. And I rolled a 24. <laughs> Uh, you <laughs> the doors break open. Uh, nice. Yeah, there, there's broken glass everywhere. Um, uh, uh, Adelaide, um, uh, uh, Adelaide, uh, if you would like, you can start mending some of the broken glass. Uh, it's difficult, but um, with um, uh, um, uh, but with care, you can sort of like put them back together. It's it, you know, you just find pieces and sort of like piecing back together. I would say after like five minutes, not even mm -hmm. after a minute, you have about like a hand sized mirror put back together. She offers it to Los. I will. Um, I will grab the mirror and look into it and see if I see anything. No, nothing. Just your reflection. Hmm. Mm. No sign from Sune here. Perhaps her light has already left this place after the desecration. We could go to the top of the shrine and you know, yes. closer you are to the skies, closer you are to your gods. You're right. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Um, Loza, are you going up first? Yeah, I'll lead the way up. Makes sense. Okay. Loza, you head up the stairs first, uh, and it's quite dark upstairs. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Wait, there we go. Uh, you head upstairs first, and it's quite dark until you get to this room. You see inside is a soft white glow rises from the square pool set in the floor chambers. There's torn cushions, rugs, tapestry, and there's clothing that's been piled all around the room, uh, particularly as you approach you see in the corner there's like a makeshift bed and a creature sort of stirring from it what and you see what the creature, creature their hair moves and twists and you see at the bottom of each length of hair is a snake head oh and they they turn, uh, keeping their eyes down as they gaze at you, and you see a Medusa before you. Oh, shit. Uh, mirror. <laughs> I may just hold the mirror up to it. I don't know if I know this, but Tracy knows this. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would say, uh, you know, as a, as a paladin, as someone who fights things of this nature. Yes, they, yes gaze up at you, and with instinct, you clutch at the mirror that Adelaide uh, repaired. Adelaide, you are on your way up, uh, and you clutch this. Come to finish what they started. And one moment, they need to make a con saving throw. Uh, <laughs> one moment. Ba, 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 ba. That Please. is going to be... Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. DC plus three as a natural 20. Mm. Damn. Can I? What would you like to do? Some, uh, can I use my inspiration to make you re-roll? Sure you can. <laughs> would you like to do that? Okay. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay. It's a D20 plus three. Mm, 19. Damn. Okay. They look up. They hiss at you. Uh, you guys are on your way up the stairs. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, uh, I guess roll uh, initiative. Oh, God. Time to turn around. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, they get a plus two. Uh, again. That's a 14 I rolled a 19 them. again. It just keeps happening. Oh, uh, you said you got a 19? Uh, 22 I got two total, but yeah. Okay. Uh, one moment. Uh, uh, what did I have you get? I have a 19 uh, as well with zero dexterity modifier. So just uh, a flat who was 19. That? 
Adelaide. Adelaide. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, and what'd you get, Loza? 14. 14, okay. Um, and they also got a 14. What's your dexterity, Loza? Oh, it is uh, 12, a plus one. Okay, so they get to go first. Uh, that's going to bring us to Loza. Uh, what'd you get, Shield and uh, uh, Critich? I got a 20 plus two. Ooh. A 20 plus two. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, shield, you'll be going at the same time as Rav and Critich. I got an 18 total. 18, okay. Um, 18, got it. Um, okay, so top of the round, Rav and Shield, you hear Loza react. Uh, you beeline up the stairs. Because yeah. the stairs are so narrow, uh, it, you're going to have to basically wait until next turn to be able to get up there. But you guys are okay. sort of like racing up the stairs behind them. Um, that brings us... Uh, so you guys will be uh, top of the initiative next turn, assuming... I'm assuming you'll be at the top of the stairs, uh, like at the start of your next turn. Uh, Adelaide, what would you like to do? She is going to lift the gemstone up to her eye and peer through it. Um, you peer through it. Uh, as you do, I need you to make a con saving throw. Can do. You can have my inspiration if that roll ain't so good. <laughs> I do have one left, but that's very kind of you. <laughs> I got an 11. Uh, as you hold this gem up, uh, you can use your inspiration if you'd like. I should probably do that. I should probably do that. 15? 15? 15 better. You hold the gem up and, and you feel magic start to affect you, but you sort of like squint your eyes. Um, and give me one moment. Um, do, 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 do. um you, uh, you gaze upon them, um, and, and trying to see their true self while also trying to like avert your gaze. Um, that's your action to do that with the gem. Is the gem an action to use? Okay. Got it. Um, so. That brings us to Loza. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm just going to go and try to slash this thing um, with my Lightbringer. Oh, uh, actually, give me one moment. Uh, it actually does get to go first. Um, give me one moment. It is oh. going to uh, move towards you and attack. Uh, that is going to be... One moment, one moment. Um, where is the dice? There it is. Okay, D20. Uh, they swipe at you with a... Uh, um, first, they're attacking with their hair. Uh, that's D20 plus five. So that's going to be 18 to hit. That just hits. Uh, that will be... Uh, uh, six piercing damage plus Ooh. 13 poison damage. Bam. Ouch. Now, uh, are you using the mirror in any defensive way? Uh, I would like to try to use it as my shield. <laughs> okay. Um, give me one moment. They have to make another con save. They succeed. Mm. That brings us to... Um, your turn. Go ahead and make a con save as well. Uh, yes. Uh, God, I rolled a five. Do you have any inspiration? Uh, I, you use yours already. Nat 20. <laughs> we that 20. Do you have, do you have oh. your nat 20? We got a we nat 20. One. A you have a group one. one? Okay. Yes. You use that uh, as you start to turn to stone. Uh, Adelise, uh, you can now reveal the information you saw, which is that this is not originally a Medusa. Its true form is that of a cleric. They are dressed in the adornments she, of Sune. She oh. grabs Losa by the by the shoulder. I, I think that's I think that's a cleric. I think oh. that's a cleric. Uh, she's got the little gem up to her eyes still, oh. with the other hand. Thank you. I almost just smited them. Loza, uh. they are coming at you <laughs> in a fury. Um, 
And as they are trying to attack you, what would you like to do on your turn? Wait, you know your true self. This is not you. You know true beauty and grace and love in the sign of Sune. Think deeply. Um, and hold on, I wrote... Um, I'm going to say her name, uh, which is Silvare. Yes. Make Silvare. A persuasion check at advantage. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, did I put that roll at advantage? Oh, that's a nat 20, yeah. 26, baby. Okay. You, thanks to uh, Adelaide's uh, quick. Uh, thinking you managed to stop just in time, just as the others make their way upstairs. Uh, I will move you right now. One moment. Um, as they make their way upstairs, uh, she stops her attack and uh, pulls away from you, covering her eyes. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought the hag sent you to finish me or to continue my suffering. No, we are here to stop the hags. Do you know she how to break to this curse? Cry. Yes. There's a painting. A painting. A painting in their tower. It must be destroyed. And we will do it. Do you know where they keep it? Uh, is this a tower next door? Could I just run in? Where, and... Yes. The top floor of their in... bedroom. I... Hmm. I'm told it's... I've tried to destroy it myself, but they trapped me here. And... The one time I was able to escape, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Well, you are one and we are many, so uh, perhaps we could just smash the painting. Yes. She wraps a blindfold around her eyes. Oh, uh, do next it, thing, please. thank you for doing that. <laughs> you will have my blessing. Um, and uh, she reaches in the pool and she pulls out for whichever one of you you believe is worthy to aid this cause. And she hands you a plus one wand of the war mage. Oh. So whichever one of you thinks it's best in your hands, feel free to equip that. What does the wand do? Uh, it's a plus one wand. Uh, you gain, um, you ignore half cover when making a spell attack roll and you get a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls. Perhaps our old... Oh, actually, it could be any of our spellcasters, truly. Everyone but me. Does it seem to be a, like, a relic of, of Sune? Uh, yes, uh, it appears to be, um, uh, well, not, not a relic. It, it's, it's just, uh, it's something that was here. Uh, when she retrieves it, you think it may have been another adventurer who came here, uh, inadvertently, oh. uh, or possibly one of the hags. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll uh, say myself and um, my old companion here are, are mostly spellcasters. I'm not sure about yes. the rest of you. I think it would be worthy in one of your hands. I agree. But go ahead, my friend. I'm not much of a fighter these days. And I will take the wand. All right. Well, I got all worked up, and we have not fought anything, so... I... <laughs> yes, perhaps let's head to the tower and see if we can destroy that painting. Yes! Is there yep. anything else you can tell us about this tower that we should know before we go? I'm already running. Uh, <laughs> you guys are all running out. Um, yes. Uh, she I I'm still standing <laughs> tries to warn you. Uh, she, she manages to let you know that there is a gargoyle defending it. Uh, as cool. you guys run outside. Mm -hmm. um, and as you do, give me one moment. Uh, you guys are running outside. Um, the uh, one moment. Um, okay, so uh, what's the marching order? Um, I'll be um, in the so, front for this. 
I'm last, clearly. <laughs> oh. Is this the marching order just to get outside or entering the tower itself? You Both. Mean? Um or the transition. Yeah. Um Rav will be near the back, but but as we're running, Rav will say if we can um if we find it's easier, I can cast fly on someone. Hopefully bring them right to the top. Oh. Do you, do you want to send me to the top? Perhaps, but let's see if it can even... If there is a means of entry. Okay. Uh, there was something that was guarding. I, I could not hear the Medusa. Clearly. There's a gargoyle! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> He's like just slowly coming down the stairs after you guys. You guys race outside, uh, and as you do, you find waiting for you there the hags! Oh. oh. Who would have thought? <laughs> Did you think we were fools? That we wouldn't see your treachery? You are guests in our house. You this have is betrayed. Not your home. <laughs> it is our house now. You have betrayed our trust and you have broken the most vital rule of hospitality. Oh, uh, God. Which oh. is. What? To keep your nose out of where it doesn't belong. Mm. And at this, mm. the hags begin to transform to their normal selves as do their servants, transforming into scarecrows. Uh, I would say at this point is when Kittredge walks out, oh, those steps are my do, oh! <laughs> <laughs> as he just, he just is like, like oh missed all God. of that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep your initiatives where they were, so that way we don't have to roll those all again. Uh, Kittredge, you rolled a 18, I believe, and Loza, you got yep. a 14. Um, yes. Okay, got it. I'm just going to roll initiative now uh, for the hags. Uh, do, 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 trying to keep this rolling. Um, <laughs> so yes. uh, what you didn't know and why we've ended up here is that the hags left a hag's eye on safe. So they saw your entire conversation with him uh, oh. and with your other actions to raise suspicions uh, and then finally breaking into the temple. They... Uh, they realize, okay, we got to do something about these people. Um, Damn. So the hags, uh, they roll. Uh, okay, I don't know why that dice is hidden. Uh, that's a 14 for them as well. Uh, they, uh, I'm going to say Loza's ready for battle, so she will get to go first. Uh, and that brings us to the scarecrows. Um... That's going to be plus one roll. Okay, 19 for them. And one more. Okay, 14. Got it. All right. That, uh, all right. So, top of the round, Rav and Shield, you can react first. Do you got something? I mean, yeah. I mean, I will. Given that I can do things at range, um, and I think, yeah, I think Rav is, oh, okay, can we see the tower from here? Uh, you can. The tower, uh, one moment, one moment, uh, it's right here. Um, you're probably wondering if you can see up into any windows, I'm guessing. Right. There is a yeah. window on the top floor. Uh, and there's also windows on the second floor. So it's three floors. Okay. okay. Ooh, I think. Are you um, thinking what I am thinking? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Rav will. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's try it. I think. Mm. I, Why, I think you fools? Rav would look at the key. <laughs> he would look at the tower and he would say, uh, he would say, I would. Uh, give it to you, but I must concentrate on it, and I fear if I stay here that they will hurt me and you will fall. Yes. I am big and buff. That lets me um, stay here. So, Rav will cast fly on himself and attempt to fly 
away from the battle entirely towards the tower. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, you, top of initiative, cast fly on yourself. That's an action. Uh, you fly 30 mm -hmm. feet. I believe that's the flying speed, right? Uh, the target gains a flying speed of 60 feet. Oh, 60 hey. feet. Even better. Yeah. And thanks to non-Euclidean uh, geometry, 60 feet in a straight <laughs> line also means <laughs> a diagonal line. Uh, so the question is, what floor do you want to go to, third or second? The top floor, the third floor. Top floor. You fly straight up. Uh, are you bothering to uh, open the windows or are you just like bursting through them? Um, do, do they look openable? Uh, that's a good question, actually. One moment. Uh, windows. Um, to the window. Mm -hmm. Uh, the it would be Whoa. an athletics check to, uh, break them open. They are all sort of like stained glass. Nope. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, go up to it. Ooh. Uh, it's not going to do that much. Yeah, I'm just going to do a good old-fashioned Eldritch Blast on the, <laughs> on the window. Uh, and hope but you, that... your action was to fly, right? Oh, that's right. That's very right. So as a bonus action this turn, I can... Uh, let's see. I... <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll... At the same time as I'm flying, I will enter my form of dread. Um, oh! So okay. what this is... Those, I don't know if anyone would know that, and I'll just I'll just say it at least above character. Deep below, the um, the library of Candlekeep lies an undead dragon uh, named Miram that protects some of the most ancient scrolls and and knowledge there. Um, and so Ravarax evokes the ancient power of that undead silver dragon and you see spectral, spectral energy uh and ghostly magic takes uh kind of surrounds his form as he flies up and spectral wings as well uh so that gives me some temp hp but i can't take any other action this turn because i flew so i'm in front of the window and i'm uh, just give me an athletics check oh, okay sure yeah yeah <laughs> this is like part of your movement speed as i'm doing it yep. yeah no that's a that's an eight and eight, you fly up, slam it. into it, uh, oh, and he, you're just not able to, to quite break like to the donate. glass. You like crack it a little bit. Uh, so you B, are. B is gonna donate or oh, give their one is. last inspiration left. I think yes. as a group, go for it. Oh. Yes, and this is the moment. Yes, okay. I, I still have one, but I oh, might you do need it. okay, or anybody right. else might need it. <laughs> so we've got one left. <laughs> okay, all right. Thanks, me and my beautiful. Oh, no! uh, <laughs> all right, everyone. What are the two numbers I can roll? Remember, and it's not the good one. <laughs> so that is a zero. <laughs> you bump into it repeatedly. Uh, 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 trying to not this turn, unfortunately, are able to break in. Uh, you do uh, get a small glimpse inside. Uh, and I'm not sure why it's limiting your vision. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, the elsewhere. Hag's magic. <laughs> uh, that brings us next up is shield. What are you doing as they take off? H hitting everything all at once. Okay. I mean, I can only hit like one person, but I can do it a lot of times. Um, so what do we think? That's like a 15, 20 foot range between me and, I don't know, let's say Morgana. She was the one that directly insulted. Yeah. yeah payback. <laughs> Um, so uh, at this time, start, by the yeah. way, uh, I just want to clarify because I feel I do feel bad you're a guest and I tr I've been insulting you. Uh, Dred, uh, <laughs> Dred Morgan, as she is officially called, her personality's trait is I have made subtle insults into an art form. Uh, they were a little less subtle, uh, but so was your mustache. Um, so, <laughs> uh, but no, uh, that's just part of who they are. I apologize. But go ahead. I figured. No worries. Um, can I... I've never done this before. Um, can I do, like, a thrown weapon and a melee weapon? Like, throw, move, melee, Uh, bonus. Yeah, sure. Who are you... What are you um, throwing? My javelin of lightning. This brand new yeah. item. Oh, my God. Uh, well, you were here. The javelin of lightning, I believe, hits everything in a straight line. So you probably oh. don't want to head straight for her. 
I can do like a, I can like go to the side a little bit. They're making like a U shape, but Fine. I can still hit like one, two, three, four of them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if you go here, um, yeah, you will get the most of them, uh, and then you'll be in attack range of this one. Work. All right. Okay. So go for it. Make the attack roll with the javelin. Who are you aiming at? Uh, let me look at. I think. I mean, I'm aiming for Morgana. Okay. My eyes have locked there. Everybody else is just collateral damage. Got it. Uh, what is 18 plus 7? That is what is my hit. <laughs> that number. Oh, where's 25. My... Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm like, we need to keep the information. 25 to hit on my first attack. Okay. 25 hits. Roll damage. Okay. Uh, that's with the javelin, correct? Yes. So it should do, if I do that, then it does... I need a deck save. Oh, never mind. Uh, when you throw it, uh, they all have to make deck saves. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then on hit. Yeah. Okay. So it hits. Roll 4d6 for the lightning damage that it does. And then I'll have the rest of them roll deck saves. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's only four of them. That is a three that is a nat 20 that is a two and that is a six um yeah no i'll just i'll just go ahead and that. eat that <laughs> uh okay uh so only one of them saved uh and uh what was the damage of the first uh the first four d6 uh the first four d6 was seven Oh, the first D6 um, was my javelin for 10, and then the lightning damage will be 17. Uh, it just does the lightning damage. It becomes a lightning bolt when you throw it. Um, oh. So uh, it does 17 lightning on hit. Um, so that hits Morgana. And then uh, the roll another 4D6 uh, for the ones who... Um, each creature in the line, in, uh, excluding you and the target, must make the save. So, uh, yeah, so 17 was done to her, and then how much is done to the rest? 15. 15, I'm modest, okay. 15. Here. Got it. Uh, but hey, that's a spread good amount damage of damage spread out among them. Um, 15 so to uh, one Scarecrow, 15 to Green Song, um, and uh, that would be eight to the other Scarecrow. Whoops. There we go. Got it. Okay, you uh, hit them all with lightning. That's just your first attack. What's next? Perfect. And then I'm going to slash. Uh, do you want to slash this scarecrow or? Yeah. Okay, go They're for the it. Closest. They deserve to die. It's their fault for being so close to me. Uh, how is a scroll, scroll, scroll 20? That'll hit. Okay, and then that's going to be... Oh god, that's so sad looking. Really? Really? Four damage? Can I not remove <laughs> that? Um, mm, nope. But I will use my action surge. As okay. my dog yeah. in the background shows me on, so I can keep hitting. Um, Go for it. Uh, and next up is Adelis. Mm -hmm. Okay, 15 to hit or 8 to hit? Something uh, 15 hits. Eight. Yep. Okay. 8 does not. <laughs> so that'll be for an additional six damage. Got and it. And then with the rest of my action uh bonus now. Because I hold on, action, action, bonus, action. Yes, okay. I am going to just uh fighting spirit, which gives myself uh, advantage on my next weapon attacks until the end of my next turn. Okay. And I Got have it. five temp HP. Um oh, nice. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just say that you probably did that at the start of your next turn as a bonus action because yes. that way you would get yeah. it for two turns basically. That makes sense. Thank you. No worries. Uh, that brings us to Adelaide. All right, she sees Shield working on that scarecrow, and so she is going to fire off the prettiest. Eldritch Blast at <laughs> that same Scarecrow and try to take him off the field. Okay. So. Oof. Does a 10 hit? A Scarecrow? No, it does not. But it looks really pretty, though. It's <laughs> so pretty. Glitters off Beautiful. into the distance. Yeah. yeah. Great. 
she feels very accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> All those years of schooling. No, uh, would you like to move anywhere? She's back-ish, so that seems a pretty good spot for her so far. Okay, so you just kind of stay in the back. Got it. All mm -hmm. right. That brings us to the Scarecrows. Uh, these three are all going to attack Shield, uh, and these two will rush forward and attack Adelaise, um, as uh, the, those are the two they've seen attacking, and they're not very smart. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, claw attacks. Uh, Oh, you know what? I'm just going to roll these in bulk. So that was a 19 to hit um, shield. That'll hit. Okay, give me one moment. I'm just going to roll the other four attacks uh, just all at once. They each get a plus three. Let's see. Does a, uh, I, does a 14 hit? It does not. Okay, so just one more attack hit. So two attacks uh, in total make damage on you. That is going to be 2d4. Uh, I'm going to eat up my temporary health. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's four damage followed by... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, one moment. Uh, four plus seven. So a total of 11 damage to you. And mm -hmm. the two uh, attacking you, uh, Adelaide, that is going to be... Let's see. Does a uh, 12 hit you? Yeah, she's in a robe. Oh, <laughs> uh, does a nine hit you? No. Does a ten hit you? Yes. Okay, so <laughs> just two attacks hit. Uh, uh, B said go. something. I um I have fighting protection, fighting style protection, so I can impose disadvantage. Um, did you, did you, I believe that they have to be within thirty feet. Within five feet. Five feet. Yeah, you gotta be next to somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry. Um, you do take 12 damage, Adelaide. Oh. Uh, okay, that is their turn. That brings us to uh, uh, Kittrich. It's Kittrich. Kittrich. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> as a, as a I'm hoping first, that you crit. A... That's why I said Kittrich. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, well, it's me, so that's not happening. Okay. Uh, uh, I just as a quick little RP piece, uh, as uh, Rav kind of flies up and takes this like form, Kittrich mm -hmm. just like looks over at him. That's my best friend. <laughs> and then he kind of he kind of like backs up a little bit, and he's like, "Hi." I think that this might have gotten a little bit out of hand. Uh, perhaps everybody just 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 slows down. It's too fast for me. And I'm gonna cast slow on the hags, the three hags, and then the oh. two scarecrows next to sh uh, shield, because I can target up to six creatures, and I think that's yeah. probably gonna be good. Okay, so uh, you're casting slow on the three hags, and who else? Yep. And then probably the because it's a forty foot area, so I want to hit either. Probably the, if I can fit the scarecrow next to uh, Adelaide, then I'll do that because she's fragile. Uh, like so me. twenty foot circle. Uh, it's. I think it's a forty foot. Forty foot oh, cube. cube. Yeah, twenty foot circle. Oh, yeah, twenty foot first. circle. Got it. Yeah. So whatever. you could get. Uh, you could. What? What? Timmy? Nope. Can we go there? Uh, circle. Right square. there would also get Loza. Uh. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, mm, let's see, can I? Oh, it's six creatures I can choose. So, oh, yeah. never mind. So, okay. Yeah, yeah you, so, get, you can get all three. Or yeah, all six. Uh, but could I, I position it more towards Adelaide? Because she's fragile. Oh, like me, yes. And shield um, is big and strong and yep. brave. So it would be the three hags, uh, two of those scarecrows on Adelaide, and one of them on shield. Yep, that sounds good. All right, and there's a wisdom uh, saves? Yeah, wisdom save of 16. Probably not going to work on the hags, but I'm a librarian. <laughs> so. Okay. The, uh, starting from... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, what's the DC? Uh, wisdom 16. Uh, the two scarecrows are slowed. Uh, 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 Azirsa and Morgana uh, are not slowed. Uh, however, uh, Greensong and another scarecrow is. Great. Uh, yeah, so I'll, ca I'll cast that, and then uh, I'll just... Uh, uh, now might be a good time for you to do those cleric things, Losa. As I back up, they're like, just kind of back towards, like, the temple and try to get away, like, you know, like, kind of 
hobble backwards. Uh, Got it. And as I cast that, the robe comes undone. The the pot belly sticks out. <laughs> Wonderful. That's it. Oh uh, my I god! Thought, yeah. I thought you were gonna say like it slips off, gets caught on a tree branch or something. No. Nope. Um, okay. That's next just round. making sure. I live. So uh, you're backing up like here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying okay. to like back away a little bit from them. All right. Uh, that brings us to Loza. Your turn. Um, okay, I'm going to be hitting and smiting. Um, I just want to say, George, for the sake of time, uh, mm -hmm. we are supposed to start our other game, like, now. Um, yes. So I don't know how long we're, <laughs> uh, we are <laughs> going to uh, go through this combat, but just know I'm going to be hitting and smiting. Um, yep. So I will quickly roll for these, but I'm going to try to speed through these as quick as possible because I don't want to keep us Yeah, I'm here. trying to go as fast as I can as well. Hit the um, I hit a 26 <laughs> and a 20. Um, I'm going to hit the, yep. the two uh, scarecrows and try to take them out. Got it. Um, so I'm going to do this plus a divine smite. So it's five plus two D8. Um, doo -doo, that is five plus, oh my God. So 15. And if it's not out, I'm going to try to hit again. Nine plus... Um, so the first 12, one was 15? Yeah, 15. All right, and then with that, you do kill one of them. Okay. Blah! Um, Dies. Okay, and I will... Uh, with, the, with the 15, right? Yep. Okay, so then 12 plus 9, I assume I take out the other one as well. Uh, yes. Blah! Okay. Dead. Uh, okay, nice. and that is my turn. <clears throat> okay, that brings us to uh, the hags. Um, one of them is, uh, you should have taken the youth, old man. Um, and they are going to point at you and cast Blight at fifth level. Oh, shit. Which, uh, I need you to make a con man? save, Citrich. Uh, Kittrich. Oh, oh, to okay. me? Yes. Oh, a constitution save? Yes. Oh, great. Oh, boy. At least he got an inspiration. Uh, that's a 10. I've got one inspiration left because uh, I have no HP, so I am going to use it. It's the same. <laughs> it's a 10. Okay, one moment. That's going to be... Uh, I am going to die. 98. <laughs> uh, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh my. That is 33 necrotic damage to you. Still are alive. You, are you a plant? <gasps> you just. <laughs> You're still up. God, give me my medicine. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just, um, as, I, as I just slump to the back of the, the building and it's literally holding me up. It's just four HP. Wow. <laughs> um, that's uh, their turn. Uh, by the way, slow allows them to take an action, but not a reaction or a bonus action, right? Uh, and they have disadvantage yeah. on everything. Their speed is halved. It takes a negative two to its AC and dex save. Uh, yep. It can't use reactions. And then, yeah, it's an action or a bonus action, not both. Okay. Uh, the other one is going to cast Polymorph. I need a Charisma oh, wait. saving throw. George. Yeah. George. Yeah. If the creature attempts to cast a spell, if that's a spell, at the casting time of one action, roll a d20. On an 11 or higher, the spell doesn't take effect until the creature's next turn. And okay. the creature must use its action on that turn to complete the spell. No problem. Uh, so this is Morgana is casting this. I need a charisma saving throw from Loza. Because uh, she's okay. casting Polymorph. Okay. Um, 21. 21. Uh, you shrug it off and just kind of like look back at her like you just what? Uh, as she tries to cast a spell turning you into a, uh, a dog. Uh, with that, <laughs> Green Song tries to cast the spell magic to get the slow to go, but she's like... <laughs> um, and so she's going to be doing that for the next two turns. Uh, while that's Ugh. happening, uh, that brings us. Um, uh, you remember uh, Shield? You are surrounded by uh, uh, scarecrows, but you remember that nice dog, Morty, that uh, you guys saw. Um. Uh, and Morty goes ahead and reveals themselves to be a hellhound and lunges at you. Oh. Oh no! Oh. Uh, Morning, that's all. No. Still a good boy, but uh, not so our good boy. Good. Not your a good fiendish boy. nature. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be. Uh, so twenty-three to hit. 
Um, that will be uh, 11 piercing plus 2d6 okay. fire. Uh, and I believe you're resistant to fire, correct? You got it. Okay, so that's only going to be five fire damage to you. Uh, four fire damage to you. So you got these three scarecrows on you and now a dog. Uh, a hellhound, rather. Um, okay, that is their turn. That brings us top of the round to Rav. One moment. Uh, Rav would like to misty step into the oh. room. Got yeah. it. Okay, one moment. Um, I'm just going to have to move the room a little bit. There we go. Because <laughs> uh, the room was falling so off hard, the map. But... Uh, you missed the step. Where would you like to misty step? Um, Just any open space where I would not okay. knock into You anything. just misty step right in the uh, middle, of, like right by the window. Uh, inside okay. this room, what you see is... Uh, one moment, one moment. That is... Uh, the air grows co uh, cooler in this room. Uh, and you smell a putrid smell. What once might have been an elegant bedroom has long since been soiled and ruined. Murals of Sunni that line the wall have all been defaced with dirt and filth. Three beds are covered in moldy blankets and animal furs, including one topped by a canopy of giant bones reeking uh, and reeking untanned hides. Empty crates are scattered throughout the room like furniture, holding broken weapons, moldering clothes, and other odd objects. I am looking for a painting anywhere. You, glancing around the room, you it, like you just take a quick cursory glance, and it, it, this does not look like a place where they would put paintings. Um, and yeah. remember, you're not just looking for one, but you know multiple people this has happened to, so you're looking for like a few paintings. So looking around the room, though, this is all trash. Okay. Uh, I'm going to head downstairs and hope that I find things that will help us. Win You're us. heading this way? Uh, assuming that's the, like, a, this is the top floor, yeah? Yep. Uh, give me a real quick a investigation check, actually, because you did look over the boxes and stuff. Yeah, okay. Very bad, easy. Uh, a nine. A nine. Yeah, you're like, there's nothing here. You race forward, and <laughs> as you step right here... Uh, I need you to make a deck saving throw as would it be a fair glyph to of say, warning goes off. Oh, could Lordy. It, could it be fair to say, now I didn't point this out beforehand, but I am flying. Uh, mm. um, <laughs> I mean, you would say that in the previous round. Mm -hmm. uh, it would just be by passing through it, so not just stepping. Mm. Okay. Um, mm. right, but I will say you have an advantage on the deck save because you are flying. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. All right. Here we go. Hey, what's that number I like to roll? But the good one, that's a 22 uh, total. Uh, <laughs> okay. You only take half as much. Uh, you take a total of uh, six acid damage as okay. a uh, a big... Uh, gunk of acid splashes all oh over you. Uh, and what's the other number I like to roll as I make a con save to oh. concentrate on flying? I roll a one. How is this happening? You do that. Uh, give me another deck save. Oh, God. Okay. Maybe you'll get like free movement. Uh, 21 the for the deck save. <laughs> 21. Uh, you manage to uh, stumble, but not take that much damage, uh, only taking uh, a total of five bludgeoning damage. And yes, you okay. do fall down the stairs. Uh, and okay. as you do, give me one moment, got to move this room. Uh, that puts you whoop, here's about. Um, and as you stumble to this bottom of the steps, you see someone you didn't expect to see. It's Falthrax. Oh, our old They are a friend. withered old man. You have to get us out of here. <laughs> oh. I, I, say, I say, dear gods, where where are the portraits? Oh, are I point to the room next to you. <laughs> All right, I go to the room next to him. Yeah, you managed to open up the room. I believe that is uh, 
Mm, actually, so you still I, have an action. You see in this room yeah. are four paintings. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming one is of him, and one what is are of the him? three others? Yes, another one is of a blue tiefling. Another one is of um. One moment. One moment. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where are the... Uh, so one of the blue tiefling, uh, another one of a gold dragonborn, another one of a uh, a moon elf. Okay. Um, all right. I feel kind of bad for this, but uh, I'm just going to test. You know, Rav isn't convinced necessarily that this is going to work. And he knows that hags, like, you know, curse their stuff with curses. They curse their curses with curses. And so uh, he looks at Balthrax, and in, in his mind, Rav is like, I thought you were dead anyway. I hope this works. And it's going to grab the portrait. And um, I suppose, realistically, the most powerful thing I could do to destroy it, because that is what we were told by the cleric, yeah? To destroy mm -hmm. them. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast on the portrait. Okay, I want you to give me an Arcana check. Okay. Ugh. That's a nine. Nine. Uh, you yeah. cast this blast out at the portrait, um, and as you do, uh, the blast, uh, it hits, damaging the portrait, but in response, you take 4d6 psychic damage. Okay. Oh. That brings us to, yeah, 14 total psychic damage to you. Okay. Uh, as there's some type of uh, you're, you're damn the painting is damaged. It looks like it might take like maybe two more hits to destroy, uh, but something is protecting these things. I can make a second. I, I have a second beam at fifth level, so uh, I could take another psychic hit like that. So I'm going to just shoot it again. OK. That's 13 Do psychic get... damage to you. Was the Arcana check to know that this happens no matter what, or is it to actually like pr help prevent it? Possibly to help prevent it. Do I get to make another one? Um, I no, not not like uh, it's not like a save. No, uh, that okay. was more like to figure out how it works. Um, yeah. but uh, it's it's hurt at you twice. Your next turn though, you can try again to try to figure these okay. things out. How much was the second round of damage? Or the oh, uh, thirteen. Okay. Okay. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. That brings us back over here. Shield, you are surrounded. All right. I'm going to do everything in my power, which isn't as much right now because I don't have my action surge. Um, Is my javelin like, is it like a boomerang and it comes back or because I threw it, it's just like. That's a good question. Now. Javelin. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like the javelin is uh is uh it's actually on the ground next to them uh it's by the way it can no longer use its lightning ability till next dawn uh if you have a regular javelin you could still use that but the lightning javelin has to wait until next dawn to recharge all right we are slashing away but i have advantage um what do i have this i think i've got those two yeah i mean i'm gonna uh please don't hate me you know what? No, who cares? I'm not hitting the dog. The dog is perfect. I'm gonna hit the, <laughs> the scarecrows. Okay. There was a moment I thought <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, let's do it with my short. And sword. one of these scarecrows is like, like moving really slow. Oh yeah. Why isn't that? Oh, by the way, remember roll with advantage because you have uh, you're gonna use your bonus action to do that advantage thing. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Uh, let's see in the list. Um, okay, so out of those two, 16 is going to be the highest, and then out of the other two... Wait, does it count for both? Yes, it does. What a great fighting spirit. Probably yelling a lot. Um, uh -huh. and then that's going to be a 19. Both of those hit. Roll damage for each. Um... While you're doing that, uh, Adelaide, uh, your turn's about to come up. Um, bah, 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 bah. Let's see, uh, let's 18 see. total. Uh, what, what was it to the two hits? Uh, divide it. Uh, eight and 10. 
Okay, you actually down both of them. Um, one moment. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Uh, you kill both of them, leaving just one scarecrow and one hound left. Um, okay, Adel uh, anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, scream with might. Okay. <laughs> ah! As you like <laughs> two scarecrows to pieces. Um, and that I'm brings us to Adelis. She's going to try to help with that last standing scarecrow. Okay, She's go for try it. Try Eldritch Blast again. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's much better. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one. That does hit. Oh, also, do you have two beans as well? Yeah, if you're level. Uh, five. You should. You're, you're level five, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. Uh, so first beam hits. Roll that, and then you get to roll again on Eldritch Blast. Sweet. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> yep, we gotta say it with a nice accent. Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. All right. Damage on that one. Oop, that was a percentages. I lied. Uh, and on bat is the single standing scarecrow and uh, Kittredge. Mm -hmm. Oh. <gasps> Okay, so that first one was just two damage. Got it. And then it's a 22 to hit. Okay. Two, got it. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. And a one. Oh, a one. Oh, you... And like a little bit of hay falls off and it just kind of like looks at you. Um, that's, uh, that's that turn. Uh, it will go ahead and it looks at you and waves and then attacks shield twice. Um, uh, let's see, uh, only because <laughs> shield's within melee range. Uh, it's probably going to attack you next. Um, assuming shield oh. dies. Uh, uh let's see. assuming. Assuming, yeah, which is a big assumption rolling You'd a two and a four. never want to hear that from your DM. <laughs> uh, so two and a four, it completely whiffs. Uh, that brings us to Kittredge. Uh, Kittredge, uh, on his last leg... Uh, very, very injured. It's kind of leaning. <clears throat> I guess there's only one thing left to do when it's your back against the wall. It feels kind of good. Uh, and uh, he's just going to point a finger. Every wizard has it. And he's going to cast Fireball uh, <laughs> on the, uh, uh, on the oh, three hags yeah. uh, and uh, hopefully hit the Scarecrow as well. I want you to know uh, what joy it is for you to cast Fireball because... Fire, all fire spells magically don't work in candle keep. So Ooh. you have in candle keep? Uh, yeah, in candle keep, fire spells just instantly go out. But are we in candle keep? No, no, no. You're not in candle keep. I'm saying uh, Citric has such joy because he hasn't gotten to use fireball uh, in uh, forever. Uh, uh, are okay, you casting it here? I see. Oh god. Yeah, on the three, on the three hags. That's okay. quite the animation. Uh, I'd like you to roll just a D20 for me. Oh, why? 16. 16. Uh, okay, on the three hags, uh, it gives a little bit more heat than you expect it. Go ahead and roll. Um, go ahead and roll 10d6. Oh, uh, what level were you casting it at? <laughs> uh, just my max third level. Just cast, uh, um, roll at 10d6. 10d6. Oh, yeah. oh my God. You, again, you've been holding back Fireball for what could be, uh, you know, the longest period of time a wizard has, has ever gone without time. casting it. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, oh. Oh. I, I hope I can still do it. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> that'll be 46 fire damage. Oh 46 oh. fire damage. Okay. Amazing. So that goes off. Uh, they have to all make deck saves. One moment. What's the and saving throw? it explodes, throw? my hair like blows back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a dex dex sixteen. Dex sixteen. Okay, let's see. Dex sixteen. Please roll low. Uh, Please. Oh, somebody rolled a twenty. Hags. Well, uh, so that slow. is, but unfortunately, oh man, that's that sucks. Uh, one moment. Uh, failed. Failed. You said fourteen, or fifteen? Uh, sixteen. Dex. Sixteen. Even better. Uh, the only one that rolled the twenty uh, has to roll again because she slowed. Uh, yeah. she actually oh. still manages to and like lifts up her shirt <laughs> to like shield herself as she's yelling the spell. Uh, miraculously, 
uh, saving on throw. Uh, how much? You said how much damage was that? Forty-six fire. Forty-six. Oof. Okay. Um. um let's see. Forty-six. Done. Forty-six. Done. Uh, that one's gonna be only twenty-three, and the scarecrow uh just turns to soot and is gone. Doesn't even get to have a dead token because it's just. It just gone. Uh, uh, Shield, you actually probably breathe in a little bit of the scarecrow because that's how little of it's left. <laughs> um, that is, is anything else you want to do in your turn? Uh, I think I, I think he just he just sits down, knowing he's this is probably his last breath. So he just kind of sits down. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, 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 that brings us to Loza. Your turn. Um, okay, George, I'm going to have to, sadly, we're going to have to cut, um, no! from here. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. so I, I would request if potentially we could RP, uh, out the next part of what's going to happen. Um, if you would allow it rather than going through the combat, um, yep. because we have another game to run and our yep, lovely yep, yep. guests have uh, stayed well, <laughs> well over time. <laughs> uh, so just roll, just roll your two attacks. And then okay. we can call it there. Okay. Because um, uh, hags aren't doing great. Yeah, I, I'm i going to smite the shit out of them. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, no, and I rolled really bad. Uh, mm -hmm. I rolled a 11 and 9. Um, do we have any last player? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we do. Messing, uh, you know? Maybe the GM has given us inspiration. <laughs> uh, I will give you, yes, I will give you, uh, collectively, I will give you guys four points of inspiration. That's much uh, better. Because you guys have been wonderful, um, and we have more than raised our goal. Uh, I, honestly, the battle is much turning. Better. Uh, so, yeah, what'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a nat 20 and a regular 20, oh, 30, 20. Nice. Nat 20, regular 20, uh, roll damage on those. Okay, that's... And, you know, obviously, uh, I know you're divine smiting. Yes, okay, so two oh fives two, with my regular damage. Um, I actually get an extra D8 with this, so I'm going to roll three D8. Um, so 16 plus five for the first one. Okay, and then, one hack is dead. Uh, do, 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 uh, 18 plus five for the second one. 18 plus five. That hag is still alive. Um... As you slash into her, it burns horribly, and she yells, "You should have died! You should have died the first time, old man!" And she, I'm gonna spend my nat twenty to uh, kill. Oh uh, right, I, I crit. Oh shit, I critted. So oh, that's critted. double. Oh, it's double. So wait, how much was it? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Can we? <laughs> you're still with the like. It, it was a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's close. All right. Uh, just give me. Uh, one last con save, uh, Kittrich. Oh, 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 <laughs> and, oh and we got another, another donation. Whoa. Um, thank you, oh, Jason. Thank you, so much. thank you for the hundred dollars, uh, Vampires of Vino. Thank you, Jason. And thank you, Anonymous, also for the twenty dollars who donated earlier. Uh, thank you, everybody. You said so 21, much. uh, Kittrich? Yep. Okay. The hags, wow. uh, as you deliver your killing blow to Morgana, you deliver this deadly crit against uh, uh, Azirsa. And as you cut into her, she casts one more spell. Uh, Green Song is just losing their turn because they're still dispelling. Um, as you guys have mostly taken care of everything, uh, Kittrich, you get hit with this last blast, but manage to survive as you stumble to the ground, saved only by your spell tome, which has been just roasted by the firebolt that they threw at you. Um, with that, uh, you guys are able to clean up Green Song fairly easily, leaving only one question, which is, can you manage to uh, break the curse on these portraits? Give me another Arcana check, Rav. Okay. Oh boy. You said you've given money. us four points of inspiration. Yeah, we got that. Yes, and two of them is okay. unused. All right, uh, we'll see if I need it. Hopefully, I roll on the right side of my dice. Ooh, that's <laughs> fourteen. Fourteen. Let's see if that's the magic I number. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, I would just use it. <laughs> roll one more time with that one of those yeah. inspirations. Uh, I think I'm going to. Come on, dice. It's better. That's an eighteen. Eighteen okay. is just enough. 
as you realize the thing that these things are missing, uh, to destroy them, they need celestial blood. Okay. With that, uh, as the you grab these paintings off the wall, you rush uh -huh. outside, rushing to your friends, uh, and as you guys stand outside of uh, this uh, place that you've uh, been fighting, they you come outside just in time for Loza and Shield to both be stomping their boots into Green Song, <laughs> just repeatedly. Hell yeah! Um, uh, as Adelaide's, uh helps uh, helps Critic uh, 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 up uh, from his near fatal wound, um, and you guys uh, coming out, you explain to them, you know, the this mm -hmm. you need celestial blood to destroy these. Uh, which Loza, from not taking any damage, is more than happy to provide as she is an Azamar. Uh, oh. I know we had to wrap up very quickly, uh, but uh, I... Guys, thank you so much. Uh, you guys pretty much solved the mystery. It's just a matter of combat, and we were running out of time. Uh, so uh, we will move on from here. Uh, we got to let our uh, get to let our guests go, and we got to get our new guests in. Yes. It was wonderful playing uh, with you guys. Uh, thank, thank you, you all so much. Thank you. Um, I may so uh, to all of our guests. If you wouldn't mind, just in Twitch chat, uh, type out where people can find you on the internet, mm -hmm. um, so everybody can follow you wherever or anything you want to promote. Just go ahead and type it out in Twitch chat if you can, so we can all follow you and support all of you um, because you all have been so amazing. So thank you so much. Thank you so uh, much for having us. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and thank you, everybody, who donated over $2,000 so far for Save the Children. Uh, we still have a whole other game to go, so we might be able to hit our $3,000 goal. Um, and I'm very, very excited. Save the Children will be very, very happy, and uh, we will be very happy. So thank you again to everybody. Uh, thank you uh, for, for hanging out. So I think we are going to take a quick break get yep. uh, rotate in all the new people and mm -hmm. we will have our uh, our second one shot happening in just a few moments yep we'll be right back don't go anywhere bye bye goodbye bye. everybody <laughs> guys that was awesome i know i know it went long ah, yes we were so close yeah. <laughs> uh.